Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Awakening the Thunder Power at the Beginning, I Was Swollen. Chapter 81 At this moment, when Zhang Baichuan saw Luo Qianjin arriving, he let go of his tense nerves. His spiritual power was also severely depleted, but he felt the points increased and felt that the trip was worthwhile. When Luo Qianjin rushed to the scene, he was shocked by the sight before him. He had sensed the aura of Master Banbu and was determined to save Zhang Baichuan at all costs. I didn't expect that, he was so fooled by the brat in front of him, but he was very satisfied. His daughter's taste was really good. Luo Yi also rushed over at this moment. Looking at Zhang Baichuan who was crumbling in front of him, he hugged him in his arms. Luo Qianjin felt a little unhappy just looking at it. Then he began to examine the surrounding scene. The bone creatures on the ground made him a little angry. The cult was doing such a thing under his eyes, which was a slap in his face. When other members of the town security bureau arrived, Luo Qianjin sent people into groups to investigate. At this time, Zhang Baichuan also saw Zhao Xuaning, whom he had not seen for a long time, and the other person seemed to become even more indifferent. Even though Zhang Baichuan greeted him warmly, the other party just nodded. Zhang Baichuan greeted him so warmly, but all he got was pain in his waist, which made him dumbfounded. Luo Yiyi was actually jealous. After Zhao Xuaning went in to investigate, a trace of sadness flashed in his eyes, and then returned to his cold look. Zhang Baichuan didn't want to stay any longer. The environment here was too disgusting, and the side effects of the exercises began to appear, making him a little unsteady on his feet. When Luo Yi helped Zhang Baichuan to the door of the house, Zhang Baichuan pushed her hand away and began to pretend to be normal. Luo Yi naturally understood why he did this. When he got home, Zhang Baichuan pretended that nothing happened, chatted for a few words and then went back to his room to sleep. When he woke up the next day, he saw Xiao Bai's big dog head as soon as he opened his eyes. He was so frightened that he slapped Xiao Bai away. Then the house became lively, and Xiao Bai kept wailing. Although he was not injured, he had to wail and cry in front of Lu Yulan. Lu Yulan criticized Zhang Baichuan, making Zhang Baichuan dumbfounded that this fool could still cause trouble. Xiao Bai made a face at him to express that the matter would never end without compensation. When Zhang Baichuan took out the Guyuan Dan, he instantly transformed into the ultimate licking dog, making Lu Yulan even suspect that the dog was a human. After spitting out the elixir, Xiao Bai tasted the sweetness. After being beaten, he could get this, and he would continue to cause trouble next time. When one day he becomes stronger than this big devil, he will be pressed to the ground and rubbed, making him his favorite. When Luo Qianjin came back in the evening, he also told him about the cult's lair. It was the cult's stronghold in Pea City, responsible for researching human body modification experiments. The bones of hundreds of people were dug up there, as well as the corpses of tens of thousands of strange beasts. The old man who was beaten to pieces by Zhang Baichuan was one of the guardians of the cult and the person in charge of the human body modification experiment. One of the most important bodies, a venerable level body, has been transported away by scientific researchers from the imperial capital. Although there is no crystal, the value of scientific research is quite high. Through this incident, the town security bureaus in various places have turned their attention to these filthy places. Once they are clearly investigated, they will be eradicated when conditions permit. Luo Qianjin said so much, but he didn't mention the reward, which made Zhang Baichuan a little dissatisfied. Uncle, aren't there any rewards? Luo Qianjin rolled his eyes at him. How could he only think about rewards for doing such a good job of eliminating harm for the people? The reward given to him this time was not much, just two sixth-level crystals and some Daxia coins. Zhang Baichuan shook his head after hearing this. The death of this skeleton monster was really unjust. Luo Qianjin really wanted to give him a big showdown, but two sixth-level crystal stones were still less. His salary for a year can't even buy two, and he is still the most powerful person in Pea City. The next few days could have been spent in peace and quiet, but Xiao Bai came to harass him every morning, leaving Zhang Baichuan speechless. This person relies on someone's support to go crazy and seek death. When it was time to return to the academy, Xiao Bai was instantly confused. He had been trying to die like crazy for the past few days. Without Lu Yulan and Zhang Wiru as his backers, he was about to be beaten to death by the big devil. 
On the way back to the academy, Xiao Bai acted coquettishly and cutely towards Luo Yi, but he was afraid that Zhang Baichuan would take action, so he kept following Luo Yi. As soon as he returned to the academy, Zhang Baichuan contacted his tutor, Matthew Taibao. From the other person's excited tone, Zhang Baichuan knew that the vice president had successfully advanced. The provincial capital has a venerable level, and the security of the entire province will be guaranteed to a certain extent in the future. The classmates who returned to the academy also came out of the shadow of the beast tide and actively challenged the rankings. Li Hao has also made breakthroughs in strength recently, but his supernatural quality is only intermediate, and his training speed is incomparable to that of him and Luo Yi. Zhang Baichuan now has more than 20,000 points, but he is reluctant to buy him soil spirit grass. He is afraid that if he doesn't have points by then, he won't be able to buy water of life in a crisis. Zhang Baichuan thought for a while and decided to wait until he had more points later. Li Hao is now much more active than before, and he is talking and laughing with his classmates. Zhang Baichuan even suspects that he is in love. At this moment, Xiao Bai was lying humbly in the kennel, glancing at Zhang Baichuan from time to time. When he was at home, Zhang Baichuan had to stew him more than once, and now he was submissive. Feeling the gaze, Zhang Baichuan looked at the doghouse and was instantly amused by the dog's reaction. Zhang Baichuan was rubbing the dog's head at the moment. Xiao Bai really didn't dare to move. When he saw the elixir in Zhang Baichuan's hand, Xiao Bai was instantly confused. What? Suicide. Silly dog. Eat yours. Xiao Bai also realized that the big devil's thoughts were really unpredictable. It was always said on TV that being with a king is like being with a tiger, and it seemed to be true. The next morning, the radio sounded again, and another freshman meeting was organized. Director who appeared as a showman as always, but no one dared to laugh at him at this moment. Director who stood on the stage in high spirits and spoke in a much tougher tone. The students under the mentor who was originally sacrificed by the Beast Tide were assigned again. In addition to this, director who announced another news. The college is planning to send freshmen to other worlds for practical training in a week. The training lasted for three days, all of which were spent in an alien space. This training was divided into groups of five, with more than a dozen masters protecting the way to ensure that students could receive help when their lives were in danger. When this was first announced, the freshmen's faces turned pale, and the death list that came ten days ago cast a shadow on them again. I heard that nine grandmasters have sacrificed their lives. Most of them were martial arts masters and generals. Isn't this just looking for excitement? But director who ignored this and emphasized that he must go. This was a decision issued by the Education Bureau. Anyone who deliberately refused to go would be directly expelled from the school. Many students have set their sights on Zhang Baichuan and the two, hoping to embrace their laps. The next day, Zhang Baichuan was also preparing to go to class as usual. His classmates were talking about something in groups, with some worries on their faces. Ashuan, have you read the official news? Seeing Zhang Baichuan and the others coming to the classroom, Li Hao came over with a bit of a loss on his face. Zhang Baichuan and the two of them either practice or practice together every day, so they don't watch any news. What's wrong? Has another decision been announced? Li Hao waved his hand and stopped beating around the bush. This week, 11 small countries in Blue Star have been wiped out by alien beasts. Several other countries relied on thermal weapons to barely eliminate the alien beasts that broke out of the alien space, but they no longer have the force to guard them. Now all major news are reporting on this matter. More and more alien spaces are coming, and their strength is getting stronger and stronger. Quote. Zhang Baichuan was not too surprised when he heard Li Hao's words. He had encountered several such incidents in the past two months. Now those small countries are asking big countries like us for help every day. Officials are discussing this topic and let the people vote first, and then let the chief decide this matter. Zhang Baichuan was also confused by this matter. If he didn't save it, the alien beasts would break into Blue Star. When they took root, the consequences would be unimaginable. If you want to support them, your country can barely protect itself. After the people are separated, if several more alien spaces come to you, who will you find to solve them? Everyone is thinking about these things now. The reason why the Education Bureau will change the teaching model is probably to allow us to adapt in advance. 
Li Hao has come into contact with more people now, so he naturally knows a lot of gossip, but he is a little anxious and doesn't know what to do. The official think tank will find a way to solve this matter. All we can do now is practice hard. Everything else is groundless worry. Zhang Baichuan patted Li Hao's shoulder. This guy just likes to think too much and just do his own thing. If the sky falls, won't there still be tall people who can hold it up? The official also released a message that due to the increasing number of alien spaces arriving, Blue Star's spiritual power has increased a lot, which may allow miners to awaken early. Zhang Baichuan was also shocked by Li Hao's news. The higher the spiritual energy, the greater the chance of a high-level alien space coming. Thinking about it this way, the situation in Daxia is getting more and more dangerous. There are only five venerable levels in the whole of Daxia, but the number of alien creatures is obviously more than this. Once several outbreaks occur all over the country at the same time, the whole of Daxia will be in danger. Thinking of this, Zhang Baichuan also became anxious. This is really a nerve-wracking thing. At this time, the teaching teacher also entered the classroom, no different from usual, still smiling. Everyone, be quiet. Seeing the sad faces of his classmates, the teacher sighed inwardly, but still pretended to be nonchalant. Now the Education Bureau has given instructions. You can get additional training resources every week, which will be distributed according to your ranking. The higher your ranking, the more rewards you will receive. Many people's attention was attracted when they heard that there were cultivation resources. With cultivation resources, one would have the ability to protect oneself as one's strength increases. The teacher was also very happy to see many students excited. It would be great if the new generation is motivated. I have something to tell everyone. The vice president of our school has advanced to the venerable realm. As soon as these words were spoken, the students all cheered. With a venerable boss sitting in charge, their safety was guaranteed. Now the college has decided to lower the threshold for the third floor of the library. After everyone earns points, they can exchange them for Junwu's unique skills. The enthusiasm of the students rose instantly, and even Zhang Baichuan was attracted. The Junwu skills must not be rubbish. Okay, next I will explain to you the highly intelligent creatures in the alien space, alien species. Zhang Baichuan also listened to the teacher's explanation attentively. Ever since Matthew explained the importance of the venerable crystal stone last time, he had the idea of hunting in the future. There will be a chance of appearing in these intermediate level alien spaces. The probability of high level ones is higher, but it also means more danger. After two classes, today's study is over. As a man with a huge fortune, Zhang Baichuan came to the library with confidence at this moment. For his performance in the last beast wave, the Academy also awarded him tens of thousands of credits. Including the credits awarded by the rankings, the total is nearly 20,000. After entering the library, the staff checked his identity and asked him to go directly to the third floor. As soon as he stepped onto the third floor of the stairs, Zhang Baichuan felt that he was being watched. His consciousness swept over and found a little old man sitting inside. The old man was also shocked by Zhang Baichuan's powerful mental power. Are there any geniuses among students with such evil mental power? Zhang Baichuan walked up and explained his purpose. The old man was also frightened when he saw Zhang Baichuan's identity information. How could a freshman who just entered school be so strong? I haven't been out for too long. Has the world changed? The old man nodded, indicating that there was no problem with the identity information, and asked him to go in and make a selection. He could only check the notes and not browse at will. Seeing Zhang Baichuan entering, the old man also took out his mobile phone and asked whose student this was. A young man with such good mental strength could not be wasted. Zhang Baichuan also felt the overall layout of the third floor. The collection of books was actually higher than that of the second floor. There were even more than 10 books on thunder attributes skills and martial arts. 5 Chi Thunder Control Technique A thunder-based training technique that can reach the highest level of the venerable state. The price is 50,000 credits, with the option of installment payment. Thunder Agitation Thunder-type long-range attack martial arts, suitable for Waho to the venerable level or below. The price is 10,000 credits, with the option of installment. Zhang Baichuan was a little moved when he saw it, but it was a pity that he now had a martial art, 
and although this martial skill was good, the thunder in his palm was obviously not weak. Thunder Half Moon Slash A range type long range attack martial skill, the attack power is determined by the user's spiritual power. Price 10,000 credits, you can choose to pay in installments. This works, it's actually a range type long range martial skill. Zhang Baichuan's Thunder Chain has a distance limit and can only be released at close range. With this martial skill, it will definitely be effective against the beast herd in the future. Zhang Baichuan looked at all the thunder elements, but compared with the lightning thunder fist, there was not much improvement. Moreover, as long as he advanced to the venerable realm, he would obtain the five thunder methods. Zhang Baichuan took down the thunder half moon slash and went directly to the exit to settle with the old man. The old man was a little surprised when he saw that Zhang Baichuan chose thunder martial arts. He didn't choose the mysterious method with such high mental power. Classmate Zhang, your spiritual power is so high, why don't you choose spiritual magic? Zhang Baichuan was also stunned. What does my choice have to do with you? Classmate Zhang, I see that your spiritual talent is so high, I suggest you choose the Jingshan Dharma. Our college's Junwuan Shenshan Dharma can directly lead to the Venerable Realm and above. Zhang Baichuan also understood the old man's good intentions, but how could he have time to concentrate on his mental strength now? Besides, the Taishang Good Creation Heart Sutra is obviously stronger than the Junwuan Shenfa he mentioned. Once you complete the first volume, you can directly reach the realm of the Venerable, so why bother to practice another one? This mentor is too lacking in mental resources. I'd better focus on martial arts. The old man also sighed after hearing Zhang Baichuan's words. The cultivation of spiritual power was too slow. He had practiced for decades to reach the master level, and the Venerable state was even further away. I wonder if you would like to learn the mysterious magic from me. I can give you the true martial arts magic. Zhang Baichuan also knew the old man's good intentions, but he still shook his head. Now that time was running out, it was better not to waste time. Seeing Zhang Baichuan leaving, the old man felt a little regretful that such a good seedling would be lost. As soon as he returned to the dormitory, Zhang Baichuan saw Luo Yi teasing Xiao Bai. When he saw him coming back, he immediately greeted him. How is it? What's different on the third floor of the library? Zhang Baichuan talked about what happened on the third floor, and took out the secret book of Thunder Half Moon Slash, ready to practice it later. Hearing what Zhang Baichuan said, Luo Yi was also a little moved. After all, multiple martial arts skills gave him more strength. Seeing her longing eyes, Zhang Baichuan rubbed her hair and asked Luo Yi to take a look, and then transferred some credits to her. The martial arts and martial arts in the library are unattainable to others, but compared with the system mall, they seem insignificant. As long as Zhang Baichuan has system points, he will have the skills to reach the pinnacle of martial arts. Luo Yi was even more moved by Zhang Baichuan's behavior. Her eyes narrowed when she looked at Zhang Baichuan. Even Xiao Bai couldn't stand it anymore and whined a few times. Luo Yi patted Xiao Bai on the head, you single little idiot knows how to hammer. As soon as Luo Yi left, Xiao Bai ran to Zhang Baichuan and looked at him like Luo Yi did. Zhang Baichuan didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He slapped it away. What the hell is wrong with you? You must know that you are a dog. Xiao Bai, who was slapped away, looked confused as to why the female two-legged beast was looking at the big devil like this, and the big devil would give her something. Xiao Bai shook his head. The two-legged beast thing was too difficult to understand, but this beating couldn't be in vain, so he went to the big devil to discuss it. Zhang Baichuan was just about to sit down and practice Thunder Half Moon Slash when he saw Xiao Bai standing next to him and cursing, this is not over yet. A big bidu knocked Xiao Bai out, and threw a solid yuan pill to it. He closed the door and ignored the dog again. Xiao Bai was very angry when he was photographed, but when he saw the pill flying over, his face suddenly became excited. This is not a loss. After swallowing the elixir in one gulp, he lay down in the doghouse, dreaming that when he became stronger, he would beat the big devil every day and then ask him to take out the elixir. Thinking of this, a smile appeared on his face and his tail wagged happily, becoming more and more like a dog. Following the instructions in the secret manual of martial arts, Zhang Baichuan began to use his spiritual power, and saw a two-meter-wide thunder crescent beginning to condense in front of him. The dark blue crescent moon flickered with electric arcs. 
Zhang Baichuan raised his hand and threw it away. Zhang Baichuan was very satisfied, but then he realized something was wrong. The distance was beyond his imagination, so he pushed the wall 60 meters away flatly. When he flew over, the dormitory closest to him was also affected, and a student whose hair was electrocuted into a killer shape ran out. At this time, the Shimate students were in panic. They were fine in the dormitory. Why were they attacked? If he hadn't heard the roar and activated the spiritual armor, he would have been cold. The management staff of the dormitory also ran over, looking at the blasted walls and collapsed houses with puzzled faces. I'm sorry, classmate. I had a little accident while practicing. Zhang Baichuan touched his nose. Fortunately, no one was killed. Then he took out two fifth-level crystal stones from the gift ring and apologized to his classmates. The Shimate student was originally very angry, but when he saw it was Zhang Baichuan, he didn't dare to say anything. In addition, the other party used two fifth-level crystals to apologize, so it was a trivial matter to speak so quickly. I thought to myself that it was not a bad thing, as long as I didn't die, I could do it a few more times. But the dormitory administrator didn't care about this. Zhang Baichuan was finally fined 500 credits and some Daxia coins, and the matter was over. When Luo Yi came back, she was very confused when she saw such a scene. What was she doing? Zhang Baichuan said the matter helplessly, which made Luo Yi tremble. After Zhang Baichuan saw this move, he directly chose to deal with it according to family law. Xiaobai also heard the movement in the room, but he was used to it now. He had suffered many losses before. I just don't understand why the big devil always bullies that female two-legged beast. During class the next day, everyone looked at Zhang Baichuan with admiration. He was indeed the champion of the freshman competition. The teacher continued to explain the knowledge about alien creatures as always, and Zhang Baichuan also saw one of them, which was the giant white wolf he had killed before. This white giant wolf is officially called the ice and snow giant wolf. It is an ice-based alien species. It has the strength of a master when it is an adult, and its pure blood can reach the level of a venerable. Zhang Baichuan was a little unbelievable that this piece of shit in his family had a long history, but considering that Xiaobai's personality was the same as Erha's, he was probably a master. After today's class, Zhang Baichuan planned to go back to practice, but he didn't expect Matthew to come to his door. When he arrived at Matthew's dormitory, Zhang Baichuan also saw the old man on the third floor of the library. He seemed to have guessed something. As he expected, the old man still didn't give up and still planned to ask Zhang Baichuan to practice spiritual power with him. Zhang Baichuan still refused, indicating that his martial arts had become a master and he still focused on martial arts. Matthew Taibao also explained Zhang Baichuan's record to the old man, which made the old man dumbfounded and his face was also shocked. Finally, he waved his hands and left with a sigh. Matthew Taibao was also helpless. It would have been fine if it had been other students, but this kid was a monster. Now is an extraordinary period, and the priority is to improve strength. The progress of mental power is too slow, and we cannot sacrifice the basics for the sake of the end. Seeing that the old man no longer bothered him, Zhang Baichuan breathed a sigh of relief, greeted Matthew and prepared to go back. Matthew asked him casually if he had any questions about cultivation, and then asked him to go back. Looking at Zhang Baichuan's leaving figure, Matthew shook his head, feeling that he had nothing to teach Zhang Baichuan. In a luxurious villa in the provincial capital, a man about 40 years old was lying on the bed, holding two young girls on his left and right sides. Although this man looks fierce, it does not prevent the three of them from playing with each other. Master Protector, according to the response from our spies in Junwu Academy, Zhang Baichuan has been living in the dormitory all day and has no intention of showing his face at all. The man scraped the girl's nose and kissed her on the face. That's okay. Doesn't the Education Bureau want to organize practical training for students? This is an opportunity. The other girl was a little unhappy and couldn't let the green tea compete for favor in front of the protector alone. Master Protector, Zhang Baichuan's strength is amazing, you have to be careful. The man didn't like hearing this, so he threw her away directly. The girl hit the wall directly, and blood flowed from her mouth. If she hadn't been armed, she would have been cold. Zhang Baichuan only relied on secret techniques to advance to the level of a first-time master.
Do you think that I am just like that good for nothing Yugu, with no knowledge or skills? The man felt that he was being looked down upon. In his eyes, Zhang Baichuan was a clown. How could the other losers who were suppressed by their attributes compare to him? My Lord Protector has incredible skills, and he will definitely be able to easily control Zhang Baichuan, but you still have to be prepared, and you cannot ignore the slogan of being the number one in the thunder attack. This girl's words made the man feel comfortable listening to them. Without preparation, the ship might capsize, but how could there be no backup plan for this operation? The leader has been prepared for this. He prepared a set of lightning protection soft armor before the mission. This kid will definitely be doomed this time. The man is very confident. Even without this soft armor, he is confident that he can crush Zhang Baichuan. After all, his wind power is not a vegetarian. At this moment, Zhang Baichuan was still practicing, and suddenly felt an inexplicable chill, but he couldn't guess what it was. But then I thought about it, Xiaobai was the only one in the house who provoked him all day long, maybe it came from him. Xiaobai's whole body tensed up immediately, and his hair suddenly exploded when he saw Zhang Baichuan's angry eyes. He was cursing, and his meaning was obvious. When did I offend you again? When Zhang Baichuan saw Xiaobai's reaction, it didn't look like he wanted to harm him. Where did he feel the murderous intention from? Zhang Baichuan practiced the Supreme Creation Heart Sutra and naturally had some feelings, but he still couldn't tell who it was. Luo Yi also noticed that something was wrong with Zhang Baichuan's state, and quickly asked what was wrong. Zhang Baichuan shook his head. This matter was a bit vague. If he told it, others would think he was in a trance. But seeing Luo Yi's little expression, he became a little restless again. Could it be the coolness on his waist? Seeing Zhang Baichuan's eyes, Luo Yi had long been accustomed to it. They were an old married couple, so they naturally understood what it meant. Xiaobai heard the familiar voice again, and began to complain in his heart. He was afraid that this big devil had lost his mind and wanted to bully everyone he saw. When he woke up the next day, Zhang Baichuan felt a little weak. Maybe it was because he was too sensitive and was affected by the official news released yesterday. The class was as usual, teaching theoretical knowledge about other worlds and starting to explain advanced intelligent creatures from other worlds. There are many types of alien creatures, with tens of thousands of species below the level of Grandmaster. Most of the creatures that appear in each country are different. The populations above the Grandmaster level are relatively small, and only dozens of species have been discovered so far. Although the number of these populations is not large, the probability of becoming a venerable level is very high. Many of them made Zhang Baichuan a little afraid, such as the blood-winged people, and some humanoid-like races with unfathomable strength. Zhang Baichuan naturally understood the meaning of what the teacher said was unfathomable. Perhaps some creatures appeared above the realm of the venerable. There are very few advanced alien spaces in the country, but the countries on Blue Star do not yet have the strength to explore the deep areas of space, which makes many people worried about the future. The teacher also constantly enlightens the students to think on the bright side. Now that the official has released so many training resources, their strength will improve rapidly. It has only been 20 years since the Blue Star spiritual energy was revived, but already several venerables have appeared in Daxia. This also shows that our human race is not weak, and in a few years there may be powerful people with higher existences. The students were also inspired by these words. We have caught up with most alien species in just 20 years, and we may become even more powerful in the future. Zhang Baichuan had no such idea at the moment. Some races were born with unique talents. Take the novice at home, for example, he reached the realm of a martial artist one month after he was born, and he became a military commander not long after. Blue Star's understanding of the alien space is not complete. Once the alien space continues to erupt, there may be a risk of annihilation of the race. After class, many students, under the guidance of the teacher, became enthusiastic about cultivation. Even Luo Yi quite recognized the teacher's words. That's fine. Everyone is full of hope. Zhang Baichuan nodded secretly when he saw this scene. Back in the dormitory, Luo Yi was ready to practice. Zhang Baichuan also found it funny that the teacher's words actually brainwashed Luo Yi. At this time, Xiao Bai raised his head towards Zhang Baichuan and shouted a few times, meaning it was time to pay his salary. 
Zhang Baichuan was a little speechless. He had given this person a lot of pills here and there this month, and now he was coming to collect his salary again. How much have I given you this month? Don't you have any idea? When Xiao Bai heard this, he started to curse, those are the rewards for being beaten. If you don't give them, I will tear down your house. Zhang Baichuan instantly laughed angrily. This idiot brain circuit was so novel that he actually dared to threaten him. I was about to give this dog a big fight, but I didn't expect that it actually put its head over and whined twice, meaning to hit it quickly and give me the elixir after hitting it. Who the hell taught you this? Seeing that Zhang Baichuan hadn't taken action yet, Xiaobai mumbled a few times, urging him to take action quickly. This is really a living treasure. Zhang Baichuan didn't intend to continue beating him. If this didn't benefit from it, it would be difficult for both of them to practice. Xiaobai looked proud after getting the elixir. This big devil will soon be conquered by it. What was shown on the TV is indeed true. Soon this big devil will surrender at my feet. Thinking of this, Xiaobai nodded to Zhang Baichuan with a proud look on his face, which means you are very good. Zhang Baichuan didn't want to talk to it anymore, and the more he made trouble with it, the more excited he became. Seeing Zhang Baichuan ignoring it, Xiaobai didn't care either. When I become stronger, let's see if you still dare to ignore me like this. Zhang Baichuan took out the sixth level crystal and started practicing. Recently, the spiritual power value has been increasing very quickly. It is increasing by dozens every day. Maybe he can advance to the master level in half a year. Sakura Country Half a month ago, several alien spaces arrived at the same time and slaughtered the entire island. Now it has become a paradise for alien beasts. A large number of corpses were devoured by strange beasts, and even the blood on the ground was licked clean. Once a new corpse was found, a large group of strange beasts would be attracted to eat it. In the original building, a group of blood monkeys and other ape-like creatures looked at the TV screen and pointed at the screen, not knowing what they were talking about. Others ran to the mall to taste the food left by humans, with surprised looks on their faces, as if they had discovered a new world. In the palace of the head of state in the imperial capital, the old man looked at the picture on the satellite with a look of sadness on his face. If the people of Daxia were not strong enough, they might also face such a result. At the beginning, Sakura Country also applied for assistance from Daxia, but several otherworldly space incidents also occurred in the country, and there was no time for him to take care of it. Faced with such a tragedy, I can only mourn for them in my heart for three seconds. Investigations and studies by domestic scientific researchers have found that these advanced organisms have a certain degree of intelligence and will learn to imitate human life trajectories. If left unchecked, they may lead to species invasion. In the palace of the head of state, the old man convened a meeting with many high-level officials to discuss, and finally everyone decided to launch a strategic attack on Sakura Island and not allow alien creatures to develop in Blue Star. The students in school also exploded. The official news was like a thunderbolt. It turned out that the island of Sakura country had been occupied. The original news didn't report which country it was from. Everyone just guessed, but they didn't expect it to be a nearby neighbor. The news released a live video, showing a group of strange beasts roaming freely in the city of Sakura country. The appearance of various creatures was something they had never heard of. Suddenly a group of bombers appeared in the sky, and the audience could clearly see the red flag on it, which made netizens in Daxia feel inexplicably proud. After the bomber flew over Sakura country, the pilot in the cabin heard the command center's order and pressed the button to release ammunition. I saw several ammunition with a diameter of several meters falling from the sky. As the ammunition fell, everyone watching the live broadcast held their breath. As soon as the ammunition fell to the ground, a huge mushroom cloud erupted, and the strong shock wave rippled the entire satellite image. The people watching also understood at this moment that this was a strategic weapon. In the picture, dozens of powerful shock waves instantly raised the entire island to the ground, and many low-level alien creatures were instantly evaporated. An hour later, the entire island was filled with burnt corpses of alien beasts, but some creatures in the picture still survived. Although they were seriously injured, they were still lingering. There were also some large creatures roaring angrily at the sky. Nuclear bombs are not very lethal to creatures above the master level. As long as they are not within the explosion area, there is a possibility of survival. 
Seeing this scene, the command post received another notification, and the superior leader asked for another release, indicating that the target was still alive and the bombing continued. The bomber continued to set sail, this time with a clear purpose. As soon as it reached the destination, it was ready to drop. But something unusual happened at this moment. A powerful shock wave shot straight from the ground to the sky, instantly destroying the bomber that broke into the island. Other bombers were directly affected by the explosion in the air and were vaporized in the blink of an eye. Only the first few strategic weapons were dropped, and the entire fleet was annihilated in the air. This scene shocked many people. Did these pilots die? Many viewers shed tears because they actually died like this. It can be bombarded from an altitude of thousands of meters. There are such powerful alien creatures in Sakura country. Strategic weapons once again washed the ground, and the entire Sakura kingdom was completely flattened, leaving only a few huge alien beasts. Seeing this scene, the old man was also angry. There were actually soldiers who died. This is intolerable. Many strange beasts have emerged from the alien space in Sakura's country. They are obviously preparing to face unknown enemies, and many advanced creatures have appeared. Strategic long-range weapons are ready, start preparing, 3, 2, 1, launch. A heartwarming voice sounded in the live broadcast room, which touched the hearts of many Daxia people. Dozens of strategic long-range weapons flew directly to every corner of Sakura country, heading towards the target in anticipation of the audience in the live broadcast room. The moment the strategic long-range weapon landed, the cities along the coast could clearly feel the earth shaking. After the dust cleared, the entire Sakura kingdom was littered with rubble. There was not a single alien creature standing, and only a few high-level creatures were left dying on the ground. At this moment, a terrifying scene occurred. The entire alien space of Sakura country exploded, as if forming a strange area. The scenes in the alien space can be seen from a high-altitude satellite perspective. Everyone in Daxia was shocked by this scene. Is this good or bad? The creatures on the island have been cleared away, but the alien space has been connected to Blue Star. The old man in the head of State Hall was also confused by this sudden accident. This was different from what was expected. The old man directly issued an order, asking the relevant departments to keep an eye on the islands of Sakura country. The alien beasts would continue bombing when they reached a certain number on the Blue Star land. This live video has filled the people of Daxia with crises. Officials have been trying to guide people not to panic. Daxia officials have the ability to solve everything and call on everyone to pay attention to cultivation. Zhang Baichuan also felt his scalp numb when he saw it. This was too terrifying. It could be bombarded from an altitude of a thousand meters. Even the venerable level couldn't do it, right? Alien creatures can appear in Sakura country at any time. What the hell would happen if a venerable level or above appeared and came directly across the sea? It's useless to think so much. My strength is just that, and I can't change it now. In an unknown area of Daxia Kingdom, hundreds of people gathered in a large manner to view the live video. When they saw that the alien space was connected to the blue star, their eyes lit up. The true God is coming, and our time is coming. After a man wearing a golden mask said this, everyone below looked enthusiastic and started shouting. Now, let us pray devoutly for the projection of the true God to come. The voice could not tell the difference between male and female, but its words bewitched everyone. The masked man led everyone to an altar and began to sacrifice some living creatures. The so-called living creatures included their disobedient compatriots. The masked man knelt on the ground and made strange gestures with his hands, and the people underneath imitated them in a decent manner. Sacrifice as soon as the masked man finished speaking, all the blood was sucked into the altar. L. As the blood poured in, the entire altar began to tremble, and an invisible pressure enveloped the entire manor. An illusory figure appeared in the altar. The three-meter-tall figure showed an enchanting appearance, and the two pairs of wings behind it emitted a milky white light. At this moment, on the beautiful face, a pair of golden eyes slowly opened, and their indifferent eyes scanned the cult people below. The masked man was also trembling under this pressure at this moment. This was not a crushing force of strength, but a fear coming from the depths of his soul. Welcome the true God to come, your devout servants kneel before you. Then a group of people also shouted, but the shaking of their bodies made their voices somewhat inconsistent. 
the illusory figure felt the thinness of the spiritual power of heaven and earth, which restricted him greatly. This feeling made him very uncomfortable. This is not the time to summon me. What are you doing? His words seemed to have a magical power, making everyone unable to help but want to confess everything. My God, Blue Star has connected to the divine space, and your people want to follow your instructions. The illusory figure closed his eyes and felt it for a while, but the thin spiritual power of heaven and earth prevented him from using the secret method. The time has not come yet, you still need to hibernate. As soon as he finished speaking, the illusory figure disappeared instantly, as if it had never appeared. The masked man stood up from the ground, touched the sweat on his cheek, and felt relieved at this moment. Even with a venerable level of strength, facing the kind of existence just now, it seems that the other person can annihilate him with just one look. Perhaps, his choice was right, the masked man murmured in his heart. A few days passed in the blink of an eye, and it was soon the new student's turn to go to another world for practical training. Zhang Baichuan has also made sufficient preparations, mainly for Xiao Bai. If he is not at home for a few days, this piece of shit will probably tear down the dormitory. Zhang Baichuan specially exchanged it for a gift ring and told it how to use it. Food and spiritual stone pills were stored in it. He also specifically told it not to go out and not to demolish the house. Xiao Bai waved his paws to indicate that he understood and there was no need to be verbose. After Zhang Baichuan and the others went out, Xiao Bai showed a proud expression. This great devil is about to surrender to me. He got me so many good things when he went out to do errands. This is acknowledgement of my status. At this moment, the school bus started picking up students. Zhang Baichuan was a little surprised that they were the last bus in line. After the remaining people got on the bus, the bus driver showed a hint of success, but no one saw it. After the bus left the school, it did not follow the original route. The students on the bus who were familiar with the road conditions began to murmur why it was not the way to the training site. Zhang Baichuan was also a little suspicious at the moment. The surrounding environment was wrong. How come we came to a certain hill? His consciousness spread, and he immediately noticed the driver's face was filled with hatred. Parking. Zhang Baichuan roared, and the driver knew that the matter could no longer be concealed, so he jumped out of the window. How could Zhang Baichuan let him escape? A lightning strike instantly blew him to ashes. He quickly walked to the driver's seat and stopped the car. Get ready to get off the bus and report to the school. It's very dangerous to stay in the car. Once you are bombarded, you probably won't be able to escape. The classmates were also frightened, but they still obeyed Zhang Baichuan's words and scrambled to get out of the car. At this moment, Zhang Baichuan also sensed that a large wave of people rushed towards this side. The leader was a grandmaster, and the others at the lowest level were military generals. Pay attention to safety. If you can't fight me later, run away. They are all gathered together looking for death, and the aftermath of the grandmaster's battle can turn them into rubble. Zhang Baichuan's words made Luo Yi also hear the coming danger, but this time she didn't want to run away. Zhang Baichuan was ready to strike first, so he jumped into the air and faced the group of people. He could not let the other master rush in front of these students. Ha ha, little one, where will you run? Feeling Zhang Baichuan coming towards him, the man in black was very excited. This was the first time he had seen this prey fall into a trap. Seeing hundreds of people on the other side, Zhang Baichuan also frowned. He had to deal with some people first. Zhang Baichuan, who was flying in the sky, immediately condensed a three-meter-wide thunder half-moon slash and quickly blasted towards the group of people. The leading grandmaster had long expected that Zhang Baichuan would attack his subordinates, so he immediately formed a wall of wind. The thunder half-moon slash caused ripples on the wall of wind, and then dissipated. So fierce. The attack was ineffective, so Zhang Baichuan rushed over and launched a thunderous attack. The face of the leader of the man in black changed drastically. He actually had mental martial arts. This kid must be dealt with today. If he grows up, he will be a serious problem for the cult. Thunder and lightning directly enveloped a large number of cult followers. The cult master was able to resist himself, but the rest were killed by lightning in an instant. Although the cult master had lightning proof inner armor, the protective aura was still penetrated by lightning in areas that could not be covered. His face was blackened and his hair was burnt. 
He was so angry that he yelled and asked his remaining men to cut down all the students, and then he directly attacked Zhang Baichuan. Feeling the speed of the evil cult master on the opposite side, Zhang Baichuan's dead soul emerged. He instantly activated the burning blood technique and retreated back, holding a thunder gun in preparation. The cult master didn't beep too much, but stared at him with murderous eyes. In an instant, a strong wind blew up, and the sharp wind blade struck Zhang Baichuan. Zhang Baichuan's spiritual armor lasted less than a few seconds before being broken through, with several blood marks appearing on his body. On the other hand, the cult master opposite was not affected by the thunder and lightning. Zhang Baichuan also noticed at this moment that the opponent's conjoined inner armor directly covered his arm, and the inner armor had the function of protecting against lightning. How the hell should I fight this? Another shameless trick. As the two of them fought, more and more blood stains appeared on Zhang Baichuan's body. If this continued, he would die soon. The opponent can miss many times, but if he misses, he is gone. When the two of them were fighting and separated, Zhang Baichuan directly detonated the thunderbolt, and the thunder and lightning enveloped the opponent. The cult master hurriedly gathered the protective energy, but Zhang Baichuan could not let him do what he wanted. Shocking Thorn A spiritual spell burst into the mind of the cult master, causing him to lose consciousness for a second. Within this second, the body protecting aura weakened, and black smoke erupted from the lightning strike. Zhang Baichuan took this opportunity to shoot the opponent away with a single shot. Originally I wanted to stab him in the head, but the other person obviously came to his senses, and he was afraid of being dodged when he stabbed the body. The moment the cult master was shot away, he flew directly backward and disappeared from sight in less than two seconds. Zhang Baichuan was also covered in bruises at the moment and had no intention of catching up. Luo Yi didn't know what to do yet. When Zhang Baichuan came over, he saw several classmates gathered together to resist. Luo Yiyi was fighting with the cultists in front. The cultists turned around and ran away after seeing him. They were pretending to be cool and wanted to run away, but Zhang Baichuan fired a thunderbolt from his palm to annihilate them instantly. At this moment, the eyes of this group of students were filled with shock. Are these still classmates? Originally, the strength shown by Luo Yiyi was beyond their reach but Zhang Baichuan was the one that made them look up to him. A group of Wuho and generals were instantly killed by raising his hand. Luo Yiyi's eyes instantly became wet when she saw Zhang Baichuan covered in blood. If she were stronger, she might be able to help him. I'm fine. They're just superficial injuries. They'll be fine in a few days. Zhang Baichuan was also a little tired at the moment. The blood loss and side effects made him a little weak. He spent 2,000 points in the system mall to buy a healing elixir, swallowed it directly, and instantly felt that the wounds on his body were slowly healing. It didn't take long for a master-level instructor to rush over. He was relieved when he saw that all the students were still there. However, Zhang Baichuan was covered in blood, which made him a little worried. He was a monster in the school, so nothing could happen to him. At this moment, the mentor came to everyone. He immediately asked about Zhang Baichuan's injuries and took out some personal medicines. Zhang Baichuan waved his hand, indicating that it was nothing serious, and then told the story of the accident. The angry instructor yelled that there was such a traitor in the college. After something like this happened, the instructor was not going to take them for practical training. The experience of this incident was no worse than in another dimension. In addition, several students were injured so they directly called someone to pick them up and return to school. With the systematic healing elixir, Zhang Baichuan feels much better. Although the wound has not completely healed, the side effects on the body have been reduced a lot. After the bus returned to the academy, Luo Yi directly supported Zhang Baichuan. Even if he refused to let go, Zhang Baichuan gave up his struggle. The two of them returned to the door of the dormitory and were immediately stunned by what they saw. This is still my dormitory. The entire dormitory was covered with a layer of frost, and wisps of white smoke were rising in the air. Zhang Baichuan was furious. He had only been out for a few hours, and it was like this. At this moment, Xiaobai let out a cry and showed great excitement. It had awakened its innate skills, which made it think that it could defeat Zhang Baichuan. Seeing Zhang Baichuan and the others coming back, Xiaobai stood directly at the door and watched them. An ice pick formed in his mouth and shot towards Zhang Baichuan. 
Zhang Baichuan was furious at this time. If this one didn't teach him a lesson, he would probably turn the world upside down. He smashed the ice pick into pieces with a casual blow. Then he rushed over and faced Xiao Bai with a big fight, which contained some thunder and lightning. Ouch! Xiao Bai's hair was blown by the beating from this Dabi Kabuto, and his eyes were filled with disbelief. Why did it hurt so much, but he could bear it before? Zhang Baichuan just responded. Xiao Bai's wailing sound spread throughout the dormitory area, but no one heard it, so they all went to practice. Xiao Bai made a plea for mercy, but Zhang Baichuan ignored it at all. You, you eat my food, use my food, sleep in my house, and you dare to attack me, labor and management will stew you. Xiao Bai was also beaten at this moment. Those who heard it were sad and those who saw it shed tears. Regarding Zhang Baichuan's words, Xiao Bai also thought that since he grew up, he really belongs to this big devil. Maybe he really did something wrong. Xiao Bai made a whining sound in his mouth, which meant that it was wrong and should not be hit again. Okay, if you keep hitting it, it will probably be gone. Luo Yi spoke at this time. Although she was also very angry, Xiao Bai was really beaten so hard now that his body started to smoke. Zhang Baichuan naturally knew the right measures. If he really wanted to take action, he would probably beat this fool to death, but he had to teach him a lesson, otherwise he would attack them again in the future. After Xiao Bai heard Luo Yi shouting, Zhang Baichuan stopped beating him, and his eyes were filled with light when he looked at Luo Yi. If you dare to attack us again, you, I'll roast you directly next time. Xiao Bai lay on the ground and whimpered weakly, indicating that he would never dare to do it again. Zhang Baichuan was also worried that the dog would die suddenly, so he spent some points to buy a healing pill and fed it to it, then turned around and went to take a bath. Luo Yi saw Xiao Bai on the ground and shook her head slightly. Her originally white hair was now bald and her body was charred. Luo Yi took it into the doghouse with some disgust, covered it with a small blanket, and left the rest to itself. At this moment, Xiao Bai was about to cry, but I was careless. I didn't expect this big devil to be so powerful, so he casually wiped out his natural skills. If the mother's two-legged beast hadn't stopped her, I would probably have died today. I have to treat her better in the future. What the big devil said is correct. He really has all-inclusive accommodation and food here. Those pets on TV are like this. I am a foreign species of ancient bloodline, how can I be someone else's pet? But when I think about it carefully, I have to open my mouth to eat, so I don't want to go hunting by myself. This big devil has good things for me to eat, and he doesn't want me to do anything. It's not bad to be a pet. Looking at the charred skin all over his body, Xiao Bai immediately shook his head. He couldn't bear this anger. If you want to be a pet, you have to find Luo Yi who intercedes for it. She will not beat me, and the big devil will give you good things willingly. Thinking of this, Xiao Bai expressed satisfaction with its wise decision and slowly began to fall asleep. Zhang Baichuan also came out of the bath. The wounds on his body began to scab, and it was estimated that they would heal in two days. It's a little funny to see that bunch of black noobs. This fool is just like a little brat, capable of mischief and mischief. He has awakened his innate skills so quickly. It seems that this idiot bloodline is not low. If he grows up, he will be good at looking after the home and nursing home. When he woke up the next day, Zhang Baichuan also felt that the wounds on his body were healing quickly. It seemed that the system's healing elixir was very powerful. At this moment, Xiao Bai was also covered in blood scabs. Although he looked horrified, he was recovering on the bright side. Seeing Zhang Baichuan's gaze, he was a little afraid to raise his head and stare. Zhang Baichuan didn't want to pay attention to it, so he still practiced hard while he had free time. The cult master he met this time almost made him get slapped, which showed that there was still some gap between him and the master. The few opponents he had encountered before were all opponents whose attributes had been suppressed and who had just entered the realm of master cultivation, which gave him the illusion of being an invincible master. Zhang Baichuan was very satisfied with Thunderbolt, which produced unexpected results every time. Even if the venerable realm was attacked by surprise, it could cause some damage. Three days passed like this, and the injuries on Zhang Baichuan's body disappeared without a trace, as if they had never appeared. Xiao Bai looks a little funny now, 
with pink skin all over his body, and if you don't look at his head, he looks like a pig. While Zhang Baichuan was still practicing, he heard the radio again and woke up from his practice. He had some doubts in his eyes. Something happened every now and then. Should he still practice? Luo Yi also heard it at this moment, touched Xiao Bai's tender back, and stood up to find Zhang Baichuan with a smile on her face. When the two of them arrived at the square, Director Hu was already waiting on the platform and did not appear as showy as before. Consciously line up and hurry up. Director Hu's words were a little impatient, obviously he didn't want to waste time. Quiet, seeing that the staff had almost arrived, Director Hu stopped worrying. There is something important now that requires every student to carry out. Comma. It turned out that there were riots of alien beasts in three alien spaces in the provincial capital. In order to take precautions, the town security bureau asked all combatants in the provincial capital to prepare for rescue. Those students who are juniors and above have been recruited long ago and placed in some relatively stable alien spaces. The dangerous ones are still left to the soldiers. And they, the so-called freshmen, were selected as reserve personnel and guarded at the last level. Even if it is a backup move, it is also a helpless move. Zhang Baichuan was also a little surprised. The large-scale alien space matter in the provincial capital had not been resolved for a long time, so why did the rest start again? Zhang Baichuan felt something was wrong. There had never been any simultaneous incidents in the past. Maybe there was something wrong. Zhang Baichuan was a little confused and decided to let the system issue a task to see what went wrong. System, release the task. Selecting a suitable task for the host, please wait. The task has been issued, please go to the provincial natural park within three days. The difficulty of the current mission has been upgraded, host please be prepared. Quote, provincial natural park, could it be that another alien space has arrived? The first difficulty upgrade appears. What kind of enemies are these? Zhang Baichuan didn't want to listen to director who cheering up his classmates. He directly took out his mobile phone and contacted Matthew, wanting to explain the situation to the deputy dean. At this time, Matthew was waiting in the dormitory for notification from the town security bureau, ready for rescue at any time. When the phone rang, he immediately tensed up. Seeing that the call was from Zhang Baichuan, I was a little surprised. Didn't he want to join the reserve team? The two communicated for a while, and Zhang Baichuan also got Vice President Zhang's phone number, and flew away regardless of whether Director Hu had finished speaking. This scene shocked everyone, even Director Hu was stunned. Don't be influenced by Mr. Zhang. He has received an important task and needs to go immediately. If you are successful in cultivation, you will naturally be entrusted with important tasks. Director Hu also lied without conscience, but Zhang Baichuan's contribution is worth it. If it is another student, let's see how he deals with you. Many classmates are also envious, but as Zhang Baichuan is in the same grade, the pressure involved can be imagined, and there is no chance of getting ahead at all. Vice President Zhang was also a little surprised that Zhang Baichuan actually came to him for something. What exactly did he need? As soon as Zhang Baichuan saw Vice President Zhang, he stopped beating around the bush and spoke out his thoughts directly. Vice President Zhang was also confused. Do you think there will be an alien space coming to the provincial natural park? Where is the evidence? Several alien spaces are now full of dangers. As the highest combat power in the provincial capital, he now controls the fate of many people. Zhang Baichuan did not hesitate and directly asked people from the town security bureau to participate. Director Zhang was a little surprised when he checked Zhang Baichuan's information. In just two months, he discovered two alien spaces that randomly arrived and resisted several waves of beasts. Such a fierce character has never been seen in the security bureau. The two bosses were also a little hesitant about the location where Zhang Baichuan could feel the arrival of the alien space. This matter was related to the safety of the people in the provincial capital. When do you think it will come? Director Zhang valued the student in front of him very much. If the other party deliberately disrupted the order of the provincial capital, there would be no reason to save him and others from the last beast wave. It will definitely come within three days, and it will be no worse than the last time. It is probably the most dangerous one in the provincial capital. Seeing Zhang Baichuan's vow, the two bosses looked at each other and somewhat believed what he said. 
We still have to consider this matter and will make a decision within two days. It is not easy for Director Zhang to make the final decision on this matter. It involves the safety of many people and needs to be discussed carefully and reported to the superiors. Zhang Baichuan was also a little helpless. It was impossible to tell them that I have a system and I am a loser. Please listen to me. Before leaving, Zhang Baichuan did not forget to ask Director Zhang to make a decision as soon as possible, which made the two of them feel helpless. The two had a conversation and decided that Zhang Baichuan was not joking. Director Zhang was also prepared to report it to his superiors. When Director Zhang reported it to his superiors, he was a little surprised by the answer he heard. The leader's answer was that he believed in Zhang Baichuan's judgment and must implement it. Two people from the trial team would come to support him. Director Zhang, who put down the phone, was also in a daze. How could Zhang Baichuan be so recognized by the leader? He was only a student, so why did he just listen to it? Now that the leader had spoken, Director Zhang quickly made a decision and convened a meeting with all cadres and master personnel. Many grandmasters were also a little surprised. They just finished the session yesterday and they came again today. What happened? Vice President Zhang naturally understood that the upper-level leaders had chosen to trust Zhang Baichuan, and this meeting was probably about redeploying personnel. Many big shots gathered together and heard Director Zhang's new personnel deployment. Many people disagreed. In this arrangement, only one Grandmaster is left in charge of the three alien spaces, and the rest are students. This makes them think that they are letting the students die. Originally there were more than ten Grandmasters, and they were absolutely foolproof if they defended three alien spaces. Now that they have directly transferred so many, how can they still defend them? Director Zhang naturally thought of such a situation, and immediately repeated what his superiors had said. He did not say that Zhang Baichuan discovered it, but that the research institute had judged it. After hearing that the upper levels had sent two presiding judges to assist in this alien space crisis, many people at the meeting changed their expressions. Is this time so dangerous? But considering that there are three venerables in the provincial capital, it must be foolproof, and many masters have also acquiesced to the arrangements of the Security Bureau. Luo Yi saw Zhang Baichuan's sad face after returning to the dormitory, and asked what happened. Zhang Baichuan naturally didn't want to hide it and told him about the arrival of the new space. Luo Yi hugged him, with some worry in her eyes. Every time this happened, Zhang Baichuan rushed in like a reckless man, really afraid that something might happen to him. Promise me that you will live. Feeling the tears on his chest, Zhang Baichuan calmed down a lot, lowered his head and kissed her. Girl, I don't want to leave you. In the past two days, the beasts from the three alien spaces have frequently attacked, but they are all below the level of Grand Master. Many senior students have experienced life and death battles and slowly transformed into a qualified warrior. This is what every Daxia person with combat powers must experience. At this moment, a large number of soldiers and boss-level figures gathered outside the provincial natural park. Only one presiding judge came, and the man who had snatched the spar did not come. This made everyone a little angry. This is really a piece of shit. Even Zhang Baichuan hated it. Everyone was waiting, and some people were also confused as to whether it would be an own incident. The presiding judge who came to support was also a little impatient, and he was also a little confused about the task assigned by the superiors. Who specifically did it? At this moment, in the center of the originally peaceful park, an overwhelming aura surged, which shocked everyone. What the hell has happened, and it has such a powerful momentum? The entire center of the park was directly bulldozed, everything within a few miles was swept away, and the entire area was flattened. Fortunately, everyone was only at the entrance. After the aura fluctuated, a 50-meter high space crack began to condense in the sky, purple light began to flicker, and a 20-meter wide entrance appeared. Director Zhang swallowed. The space that almost killed people last time was only 30 meters high. This 50-meter space is probably going to suffer. The space cracks began to stabilize, and Zhang Baichuan could feel that the spiritual power around him had increased a lot. Perhaps the strong spiritual power would trigger a new crisis soon. Come in with me. The presiding judge took the lead and rushed in, and everyone followed without saying a word. They were allowed to fight outside and were always on guard against strange beasts escaping. When Zhang Baichuan rushed in, he was stunned. 
This place was actually different from the other alien spaces in the past. The environment was similar to that of Blue Star, except that the vegetation was too lush. There are plants several meters high and giant trees hundreds of meters high everywhere. Their current size is like some ants coming to the lawn. The presiding judge's expression changed drastically when he saw this scene. This alien space is about to touch the advanced alien space, and the situation is not optimistic. Ready to fight. Everyone also woke up from the shock. When they saw the sound coming from the distance, some of their scalps went numb. One after another, ferocious crustacean creatures rushed from a distance, a bit like ants. The three meter long and one meter high body reflected a faint metallic feel, and the fangs on its mouth had a purple light. Zhang Baichuan immediately felt that the aura emitted by these strange beasts was approaching the master, and the darkness in front of him made him smile bitterly. These creatures have no elemental attributes and rely on brute force. You attack from a distance first. The presiding judge shouted to everyone, and everyone launched attacks one after another. However, this thing was actually somewhat immune to water and earth damage, and instead aroused their ferocity. Zhang Baichuan also fired a thunderous half-moon slash and swept over it. The alien beast that was hit was electrocuted and emitted black smoke. The aftermath also caused many casualties of the alien beasts. Many masters couldn't accept this scene. How the hell is this possible? Matthew had a proud expression on his face and wanted to tell others loudly that this was my student. But now is not the time to do this. Matthew directly condensed five thunder whips. With the movement of his fingers, all the strange beasts were instantly electrocuted. It was very beautiful in his heart. There was also a fire master who showed off his skills and burned a large area, which made him feel that this operation was much easier. The presiding judge is not so optimistic. This has just begun. The alien beasts feel the fluctuations in the space cracks, and the powerful ones in the distance have not come yet. Zhang Baichuan was very happy at the moment. He used the thunder chain to quickly harvest points. The growth rate was not ordinary fast, and he gained nearly a hundred points in one go. Everyone used their own methods, and when they were almost clear, another large army came over from a distance. What came turned out to be a group of wolf-shaped beasts called storm wolves. Except for their unique appearance, they are no different from blue star creatures. The leader is actually a half-step venerable, followed by six grandmasters, and the others are all waho. This group of wind wolves had wind attributes and moved very fast. They rushed to everyone's eyes in the blink of an eye. They were a little wary after seeing the presiding judge, but they still launched an attack without hesitation. Zhang Baichuan was going to hunt down some fifth-level crystal stones, which were of the wind type and could be used by Luo Yi. Thinking of this, Zhang Baichuan directly stared at those Waho-level wind wolves, killing many of them in the flash of thunder and lightning. The Grandmaster on the human side had the upper hand, almost crushing the game. The chief judge also killed the first wolf with his backhand. It didn't take long for the wolves to be wiped out. Zhang Baichuan took out a dozen fifth-level crystals, but unfortunately there were no sixth-level crystals. With so many masters surrounding them, he was too embarrassed to grab the monsters. Zhang Baichuan was a little strange, why did he rush over even though he knew he couldn't beat them? It's not like there was something wrong with these gale wolves. Before everyone could rest for long, another group of alien beasts rushed over. The aura of the alien beasts in front made everyone a little depressed. This was the attack of the venerable level alien beasts. The pressure on everyone has increased greatly. They have reached the venerable level so soon. Are there any more in the future? What appeared in front of everyone was still a pack of wolves, somewhat similar to before, but in terms of attributes, they were actually of the fire element. This is going to be really hard to do, and the fire element's lethality is not guaranteed, so a lot of people might want to kill it. The presiding judge took the lead and faced the alpha wolf directly, not allowing the aftermath of the lord level battle to hurt others. I saw more than 20 master level ones in the back and three half-step master level ones. Everyone's expressions were a bit ugly. Let alone one on two, one on one might not have much advantage. Zhang Baichuan also noticed that there was no one below the grandmaster level. He had to face the grandmaster level. Zhang Baichuan struck first and directly covered the dozen or so flame wolves rushing in front with his thunderous hand. The whole scene smelled of meat. 
Many flame wolves had a large piece of their bodies scorched, and they continued to charge forward without fear of death. Some of them were rolling on the ground, obviously being severely injured. This scene made many masters look happy, which would probably make them feel more relaxed. They were already used to Zhang Baichuan's strength. The presiding judge also felt Zhang Baichuan's blow and was a little surprised that the Waho realm could actually attack with thoughts. Vice President Zhang was also showing off his power at this moment. Half-step venerable was not a venerable after all. Even if he faced three heads, he still had the advantage in many fights. Zhang Baichuan also joined the Grandmaster's battle at this moment, and when nothing happened, he suddenly attacked the flame wolves who were still fighting with a lightning bolt. Zhang Baichuan's behavior made these flame wolves itchy with hatred. They wanted to attack him, but were blocked by others. The six flame wolves couldn't bear it anymore and immediately got rid of their opponents. They all attacked Zhang Baichuan, regardless of subsequent attacks. Have you lost your mind? When Zhang Baichuan saw so many flame wolves rushing towards him, he went into a thunderous rage and they all fell down. The wound originally made by the human master was now scorched and cracked open, and he was wailing on the ground. Zhang Baichuan rushed over with a thunder gun in hand. Several masters would not miss such a good opportunity. Zhang Baichuan's quick eyesight and quick hands only managed to grab two, and he cursed these people in his heart for not following martial ethics and taking advantage of the chaos. Seeing that others were still fighting, Zhang Baichuan couldn't be idle. It was impossible for him to get the crystal while they were fighting, right? Lao Lu's behavior was taken to the extreme. After being attacked, these flame wolves transferred their hatred value to him and rushed towards him. This also hit Zhang Baichuan's heart. Before they could rush over, he was beaten to death by several people on the road. Within a few minutes, this group of master-level flame wolves died unwillingly. Zhang Baichuan was overjoyed. He got four sixth-level crystals and 40,000 points. Seeing that Vice President Zhang was still fighting, the few people who had taken the spar blushed and launched an attack on the flame wolves. Although the three flame wolves were suppressed and beaten in front, they cooperated tacitly, and Vice President Zhang slowly began to fall into a disadvantage. Just when the three flaming wolves were sure of victory, Zhang Baichuan struck one of them straight with a thunderbolt from his palm, causing its whole body to be charred and black, and its aura was somewhat confused. Ouch! The injured flame wolf was so angry that his eyes turned red as he stared at Zhang Baichuan. He ignored Vice President Zhang and pounced on Zhang Baichuan. Thunder! Shocking thorn! Seeing the opponent rushing towards him, Zhang Baichuan fired his skills directly. The flame was instantly knocked to the ground, and his hind legs were still twitching. Before he heard the point's reward, Zhang Baichuan fired a palm thunder and gave it a holy baptism on its head. The flame wolf closed its eyes peacefully under this wave of operations. Vice President Zhang's pressure was greatly reduced at this time, and several more masters were there to help. It didn't take long for the two flame wolves to die one after another. The chief judge in the distance was also fighting with the alpha wolf inextricably. Both of them were of the fire element, so they were basically evenly matched. Vice President Zhang also rushed over. The sooner it is solved, the better he can face the next step. I wonder if there will be any strange beasts coming later. Regarding the addition of Vice President Zhang, the presiding judge instantly felt much more relaxed, and the flame wolf was beaten back steadily. How could Zhang Baichuan let go of such a good opportunity? When it was running away, he fired a thunderbolt and forced it to stop. The presiding judge hit him with a skill, and the flame wolf had to resist. In an instant, his whole body was scorched black by lightning. After resisting his attack again, he was directly knocked away. Vice President Zhang also followed closely. The flame wolf, who had not yet gotten up, was hit hard again and then beaten violently. Seeing the flame wolf being knocked away like a dead dog, Zhang Baichuan used his palm thunder to kill him with one strike. The K head was successful and he got 100,000 points. Everyone nodded slightly when they saw Zhang Baichuan's actions. They should treat strange beasts in such a clean and neat manner. At this moment, everyone also began to recover their spiritual power. These masters also took out the crystal stones they had just harvested. The most important thing now is to maintain their combat power. Less than a quarter of an hour later, everyone immediately opened their eyes from recovery and felt the breath fluctuation coming from the front, their faces full of seriousness. 
three venerable level beasts came over, and everyone made a choice instantly. The two venerable level beasts each fought against one, and the rest of the group fought against one together. Matthew's face was also a little moved. I don't know how many people will be unable to go back this time. After the last battle, Zhang Baichuan also knew that the next one would be a hard battle. He hoped that everyone could survive. The two great sages stood up to fight directly, and many masters also cheered each other up. No one who should face them could escape. A giant python of more than 30 meters appeared in the distance. The surging scales on its body were like a river, and the rushing water could be felt. Matthew swallowed. This is a water attribute mutant, a being stronger than the bloodwings. It will be harder this time. Regarding the people in front of him, the giant python showed a trace of sarcasm on his face and did not take the initiative to attack. What an interesting race. Its words surprised everyone present. It didn't take the initiative to attack them, but chose to talk. As for why the other party speaks Daxia dialect, it is unknown. I wonder what you are planning to do here. If you don't want to fight, just chat. If you really want to fight, it will be a matter of life and death. Zhang Baichuan is fearless. The giant python's aura locked directly on Zhang Baichuan. Seeing that the other party was so weak, he was the boldest one. Of course it is my king's instruction to come and inspect this space crack. Did you choose to invade us? There is a king behind such a powerful existence. Isn't this a fool? We also saw cracks and thought there was an enemy invasion, so we stopped here. Ha ha, you are just a few weak beings, but you are really boasting. There are tens of thousands of people like you in the area ruled by my king. The giant python seemed to have heard something ridiculous, and its laughter resounded throughout the world. Then how are you going to deal with this matter? Are you preparing to invade? Zhang Baichuan was a little puzzled. The other party didn't have much murderous intention. Why should he explain so much to them? Invasion. Why invade? Do you think we are those filthy creatures who call themselves gods? This is a bit confusing to Zhang Baichuan. These aliens have no intention of invading. And what kind of god is it talking about? A cult god. In that case, how about we all quit? Fighting is not good after all. The giant python looked at Zhang Baichuan's body and found that these people actually let this weakest guy come to talk to it. Weak people are not qualified to talk, unless you can show corresponding value. Although I don't like intrusions, once you step into my territory, you can't just leave it casually. Quote. Is this its territory? So as long as we can stabilize the guy in front of us, this alien space will be stable for a while. I wonder what you need. I am willing to compensate. Several masters were also frightened by Zhang Baichuan's words. How could they give something to this alien species? I need heavenly materials and earthly treasures. The giant python's eyes flashed with light as it stared at the people. If they couldn't get these things, all of them would stay here. Treasures from heaven and earth. I have it. This giant python is of water nature. Try getting a water spirit grass. Chapter 91 Zhang Baichuan exchanged a water spirit grass from the system mall and pretended to take it out of the ring. The moment the giant python saw the water spirit grass, a trace of greed flashed in its eyes, and it directly sucked it from Zhang Baichuan's hand with spiritual power. Roar! The giant python looked up to the sky and roared, and the other two mutants responded instantly. Two figures quickly rushed towards the giant python, followed by the two human sages. The presiding judge was also confused, what the hell happened? Zhang Baichuan also saw two other alien species at this moment, both of which were snakes and had water attributes. I will let you go today. You are not allowed to enter within a hundred meters of the space crack. Otherwise, don't blame me for not warning you. The presiding judge and vice president Zhang were also confused. Is this alien so easy to talk to? They could feel the power of the giant python in front of them, which was definitely not something they could contend with now. It would be nice to be able to exit safely. Then we will withdraw. Don't worry, we will never set foot here. As long as you can walk, there is no need to fight and kill, the key point is still unbeatable. They can leave first and you stay. The python's words made Zhang Baichuan collapse instantly. Why the hell did he do this? The other grandmasters instantly became unhappy. What did they think of them? I have something to discuss with you and I won't do anything to you. What else could Zhang Baichuan say? He could only signal them to go back first. 
This giant python probably wanted something good. Zhang Baichuan nodded to Vice President Zhang, indicating that he was not in danger and asked them to go back first. After everyone retreated into the space crack, the giant python transformed into a three-meter-long size and wandered around him, making Zhang Baichuan's hair stand up as if facing a formidable enemy. I wonder if you still have that spiritual grass. At this moment, the python's voice was a bit feminine and very crisp, which surprised Zhang Baichuan. Treasures from heaven and earth are rare to come by, and I got them by chance. The giant python obviously didn't believe it. The moment he took it out from Zhang Baichuan, he didn't have the kind of expression that he was reluctant to part with. The giant python hovered directly over Zhang Baichuan, its head resting on his shoulder. What if I could give you something in exchange? The voice was a little soft and a little bewitching, making Zhang Baichuan's ears itch. What can you give me in exchange? Upon hearing this, the giant python realized that there were indeed treasures of heaven and earth, but it could clearly sense that the water spirit grass just appeared out of thin air. We don't have anything good here, only crystal stones and strange beasts. Crystal, this is okay. Are there any seventh level ones? The giant python rolled his eyes at him angrily, you think the seventh level is a cabbage. Looking at its expression, Zhang Baichuan clearly felt that it was gone. Is there a half step to the seventh level? The giant python was confused for a moment, half a step to the seventh level was still possible. Exchange a spiritual grass for a spar. If you want to exchange it, just say it. I want the thunder crystal. The giant python is in a bit of a dilemma. The thunder element is the darling of heaven and earth, how can it be so easy to obtain? It has been practicing for hundreds of years and only has one. I only have one, and I need two of your spiritual herbs to exchange for it. Zhang Baichuan was stunned for a moment. What about the exchange of one for one as promised? Thunder element is not that easy to obtain. It depends on whether you want to change it or not. Seeing the change in the python's tone, Zhang Baichuan felt that the other party was a little impatient, so he nodded in agreement. Seeing Zhang Baichuan and two more water spirit grasses appearing out of thin air, the giant python's eyes were stunned. How could this be possible? There was not even a trace of spatial fluctuation, which made it unbelievable. The look he looked at Zhang Baichuan was like a moving treasure house. Zhang Baichuan's scalp was numb from being stared at by the giant python. He always felt that the other party was going to make a move, but then he threw a spar at him. Next time, you can continue to exchange all good things with me. I will collect 7th level crystal stones. After saying that, the giant python bit off a scale from his body and placed it in Zhang Baichuan's hand. Zhang Baichuan felt that this scale was a hot potato and might locate his position at any time, but he had to take it now. After Zhang Baichuan put away his scales, the giant python left with the other two snakes, leaving Zhang Baichuan in a daze. Forget it, if this giant python really invades, he will still be recruited to fight. The mission is completed and you get 100 points. I'm short of your 100 points. When Zhang Baichuan returned to the entrance of the space, there were still several instructors waiting outside. They all breathed a sigh of relief when they saw Zhang Baichuan coming out. Zhang Baichuan didn't say much, just saying that the giant python wanted to make a deal with them and wanted to exchange the crystal for heavenly materials and earthly treasures. This matter has attracted the attention of many instructors. With the revival of spiritual energy, there will always be treasures of heaven and earth in such a large area as Daxia, but 7th level crystals are difficult to obtain. But now was not a good time to talk, so everyone decided to go back to the academy to discuss it. As for the presiding judge and director Zhang, they had already gone back, leaving only some soldiers to guard them. The arrival of this otherworldly space was so huge that it alarmed the entire provincial capital. Many people were worried and felt that the end was coming. As soon as he returned to the college, he saw Luo Yi waiting at the school gate. After seeing Zhang Baichuan's figure, he couldn't bear it anymore. She rushed over directly, threw herself into his arms and cried loudly. Zhang Baichuan patted her back and comforted her softly. There are also mixed feelings in my heart, and it is difficult to control my own destiny without the strength. This time I got 150,000 points, removed 60,000 and replaced them with water spirit grass, plus the previous one, I still have 110,000 points. 
Zhang Baichuan directly purchased five thunder grasses, and this time he planned to upgrade the quality of his powers to the flawless level. The moment he swallowed it, Zhang Baichuan felt that his whole body had changed, and he could sense the spiritual power of the air more acutely. After taking out the sixth level crystal and starting to practice, this feeling made him extremely happy. The absorption speed increased twice as much as before. If this progress continued, he would be confident to advance to the master level within a month. Sure enough, qualifications determine a person's future. No matter how many resources you have, if you can't absorb them, it will be useless. Zhang Baichuan took out the half-step master level crystal. He originally planned to either keep it for himself or exchange it with Matthew for something else, but he didn't want to do that now. The faster your strength improves, the better. Who cares about the future? When absorbing this crystal, Zhang Baichuan clearly felt that his understanding of the thunder system was increasing, and he had a clear understanding of many skills. What a good thing. I'll have to ask the giant python to find it next time. After several days of practice, Zhang Baichuan finally absorbed the crystal. At this moment, he felt twice as strong as before. Zhang Baichuan opened the system panel. Host, Zhang Baichuan. Age, 18. Realm, Wuhou, Shuho. Spiritual power value, 7,258. Mental strength, 6,127. Talent skills, Palm Thunder, Divine Consciousness, 600 meters air control. Kung Fu, Lightning Thunder Fist, Supreme Creation Heart Sutra. Martial skills, Lightning Thunder Fist, Thunder Flash, Blood Burning Technique, Thunder Chain, Thunder Half Moon Slash. Spells, Shocking Thorn, Object Control. Minor Supernatural Power, Thunder, 62%. The biggest benefit from this half-step venerable level crystal is thunderous proficiency. Zhang Baichuan didn't know about his trip to another dimension. Many big guys in Daxia held meetings for several days about this matter. The alien space in the provincial capital where he is located is causing headaches for the upper levels. The alien creatures inside are too powerful and there is no effective way to solve them. If left unchecked, the creatures inside would cause a catastrophe if they burst out. According to the chief judge's description of this operation, Zhang Baichuan was actually able to communicate with the alien species and return safely. Some people want to bet on him, and some people think that there is no difference between this and a cult. In the current environment, we still strive to improve Daxia's overall strength. The old man will directly make the final decision later. The communication with the alien species in this space must not be interrupted to ensure the safety of the entire provincial capital of Zhang province. On the other hand, the supply of resources for new people with special abilities will be strengthened, and the treatment of those with outstanding talents can be appropriately increased. Regarding a certain presiding judge who did not participate in Zhang province's alien space support last time, punishments were issued at the meeting, and the family's resource treatment was halved. Zhang Baichuan was still indulging in cultivation when he heard conversations coming from outside. He slowly opened his eyes and was a little confused about who was coming to visit. When I went out, I saw, good guys, there is another large group of troops. The leader is the presiding judge supported by the alien space, as well as the dean of the college and a group of mentors. The visitor got straight to the point and made his intention clear. The upper-level leaders attach great importance to this alien space and want to inquire about the process of Zhang Baichuan and the alien trade to determine whether it is conducive to the development of Daxia. They can provide assistance. Zhang Baichuan didn't mince words and directly stated that the aliens could exchange heavenly materials and earthly treasures for seventh-level crystals. This news made everyone present very excited. It was too dangerous to kill the venerable-level beasts in the alien space. A safe method was also a way out, but the treasures of heaven and earth were too rare. Seeing that everyone was a little moved, Zhang Baichuan instantly thought of a good crooked idea and looked at everyone with fiery eyes. Dear leaders and teachers, I have a deal to make with you. Do you have any ideas? Everyone was also confused. What good deal could Zhang Baichuan have with them? Zhang Baichuan didn't hesitate and directly expressed his thoughts asking everyone to cooperate with him in killing the master-level blood-colored creatures, and every five of them would be exchanged for a half-step master-level crystal stone of any attribute. Many masters were immediately interested. Alien species were difficult to deal with. 
blood-colored creatures had no elemental powers, so they were relatively easy to deal with. The half-step venerable level crystal gives them a chance to break through at the peak of their masters. This is a great opportunity. If one doesn't work, just get a few more, and there will always be hope of success. As for the venerable level beasts, Zhang Baichuan has no intention of hunting. Not to mention the danger, the system points are only 100,000 for one, which is not worthwhile. Many masters hit it off immediately and immediately agreed, preparing to formulate a hunting plan and carry out hunting operations throughout the province. Of course, not all of them can go, everyone has to act in batches to prevent no one to be available when a beast wave occurs in the alien space. Zhang Baichuan also directly stated that he would personally give the final blow to all prey, and everyone agreed one after another. He was going to kill the alien beast, but now he had an extra gain, so why not do it? If it weren't for the fact that the chief judge had responsibilities and wanted to hunt, the half-step venerable crystal would not be of much use to him, but he still had relatives and friends. Many masters have begun to go home to prepare and make arrangements for personnel to ensure that hunting does not bring trouble to the country and that students cannot be left behind in teaching. After everyone left, Zhang Baichuan showed a satisfied smile. He earned 30,000 points for each crystal. Even if he exchanged the thunder attribute for Ma Taibao, he would still make some money. As for whether bringing heavenly materials and earthly treasures to these alien species will cause them to become stronger and stronger, Zhang Baichuan has no choice now. The human race simply cannot compete with the opponent now, so they need to become stronger first. Luo Yi was also a little worried at the moment, knowing that Zhang Baichuan was going to another dimension again. Unfortunately, she had only entered the Waho realm not long ago, and her strength was still insufficient. Zhang Baichuan took out the crystal stone he got from Gale Wolf and gave it to Luo Yi, which was enough for her to absorb for a while. When the points are sufficient, he will exchange half-step master level crystals for her to speed up her progress. Zhang Baichuan can naturally see what this little girl is thinking. But now is a critical period. If you don't speed up your cultivation, you may not be able to speak so easily if you come to a powerful dimension. Zhang Baichuan encouraged Luo Yi and told him not to worry too much. As a group of them went hunting for master level beasts, the safety factor was still very high. Luo Yi also understands the current situation. If he is not careful, he will face the same disaster as other small countries. I can only pray in my heart that he will be safe, and I must speed up my cultivation. Seeing that Xiao Bai now has the strength of a military commander, his fighting spirit was stimulated in his heart. He can't be compared with a pet, right? Xiao Bai also felt Luo Yi's gaze and was a little confused, what's wrong? Is this female Twilig even ready to attack me? Xiao Bai is now starting to grow hair again. Although it is only a little bit, it is still much better than the previous hairless hair. Seeing Luo Yi go back to his room to practice, Xiao Bai was relieved. He couldn't stay in this house anymore because he was being watched by these two people every day. But after thinking about it, I still feel comfortable here. Having something to eat every day is much better than many people on TV. As long as he doesn't get beaten, he will be the winner of the wolf life. The next day came quickly, and many masters made plans to allocate personnel and were ready to start hunting. This time we chose some small alien spaces, the tallest of which were only half-step masters alien beasts, which had a great guarantee on safety issues. A wave of massacres will be more conducive to the stability of this alien space, and the soldiers guarding here will be safer. There were six people going this time, and Matthew was immediately ready to take the lead. It was their first time to carry out such an operation. They wanted to see if the danger was great and they could not let Zhang Baichuan try it alone. Everyone came to the entrance of the space. With Director Zhang's special approval, they easily entered the alien space and rushed directly to the depths of the space. Everyone was lazy to pay attention to some little Kurami who passed by, but this did not prevent them from getting into trouble, and they had to kill many of them as a last resort. As everyone advanced, they were getting closer and closer to the depths of the space, and the strange beasts they faced became more and more powerful, and they were slowly getting closer to the blood monkey group. Everyone also cheered up. There were at least 40 blood evil monkeys in front of them, more than 20 of them were masters and above, and two of them were at the half-step master level. They definitely couldn't launch an attack rashly. 
if they were surrounded by a group of monkeys, they probably wouldn't be able to go back. Zhang Baichuan was going to seduce him. He was only at the level of Marquis Wu, so he would definitely not be able to attract many bloody monkeys. Everyone also thought that this plan was good, and they all told Zhang Baichuan to pay attention to his safety, and then began to retreat back so that he could not be sensed by the blood demon monkey. When the five people retreated to a suitable area, Zhang Baichuan directly fired a thunderous half-moon slash at the front one. After the attack arrived, the body of the blood demon monkey was scorched black, and the entire monkey group also exploded its nest. Seeing a being in front of him who was weaker than himself, the blood evil monkey who was attacked screamed angrily, and the other blood evil monkeys also showed ridicule. He hurriedly attacked Zhang Baichuan. Seeing that there were no other blood evil monkeys following him, Zhang Baichuan was also a little speechless. Why the hell is there only one? This is so tempting to a hammer. Zhang Baichuan took out the thunder gun and rushed towards the blood demon monkey. Under the sweeping thunder and lightning, the blood demon monkey's eyes were full of fear. The bloody monkeys in the distance stopped watching the fun. Five or six of them ran over. Apparently they were also eyeing Zhang Baichuan. At this moment, Zhang Baichuan saw several blood evil monkeys lured over, with a happy smile on his face, waiting for you to take the bait. Zhang Baichuan deliberately lost the fight and ran directly to the rear. The blood monkeys had no reason to let him go and pounced on him directly. Seeing these bloody monkeys break away from the monkey group, Zhang Baichuan stopped immediately and unleashed a thunderous wave towards the front. It's just that the power is a bit too great. These blood evil monkeys were severely injured in an instant, which surprised Zhang Baichuan. The power is much greater. Even the people behind were frightened. It was so powerful. Also, why did this thunderous idea increase so much? Matthew Tebow was also blushing a little at this moment. His students' abilities at the Waho level were similar to his own, and he had mastered such powerful martial arts. Seeing that these blood evil monkeys were severely injured at this moment, Zhang Baichuan did not hesitate and called on several masters to beat these beasts half to death, and then harvested them without any injuries. Feeling the increase in points, Zhang Baichuan showed a satisfied smile. Even the faces of several masters were red. They already had a half-step venerable grade crystal. After a few more visits, each of them had one. Zhang Baichuan repeated his old trick and ran to the group of bloody monkeys to provoke them, trying to lure out a few more. The monkeys at this moment were not fools. How could they not have any wisdom at all? They naturally guessed that the companions just now were in danger, and more than ten of them rushed over. The rest had to look after the monkeys. Seeing more than a dozen blood demon monkeys rushing over, including a half-step venerable level one, Zhang Baichuan's scalp felt numb. This was beyond unexpected. Several grandmasters also became serious, this was a bit out of control. Zhang Baichuan could not sit still and wait for death, so he immediately activated the blood-burning technique, and with a thunderous burst of energy, he surrounded more than ten blood evil monkeys. The thunderbolts used by the Grandmaster level directly enveloped the blood demon monkeys with the aura of destruction. The scene crackled and the wails resounded in everyone's ears. Several blood demon monkeys died on the spot, and the rest were electrocuted with black smoke coming out of their bodies. This scene shocked everyone. Matthew swallowed. This situation made him doubt his life. He had been practicing on dogs for decades. Facing the remaining blood demon monkeys, everyone was extremely stimulated. If Zhang Baichuan hadn't told him to make up for it himself, they would have crushed these blood demon monkeys to ashes. This kid is obviously only at the Waho realm, why is he braver than them? All the dissatisfaction was directed at these bloody monkeys, and the scene calmed down instantly. This battle was very fruitful. Basically everyone could get a half-step venerable level spar. However, the smile on their faces was no longer the same as before. Instead, they were a little ashamed and did not contribute much. What happened next was simple. Zhang Baichuan and the others rushed directly into the group of bloody monkeys and blasted them. The thunderbolt opened the way, and the other masters behind them wildly fired unknown AoEs. The entire monkey group was immediately destroyed, and even the half-step master level leader died unwillingly. After solving the monkey group, everyone began to sweep the area. Unexpectedly, they found a large number of spiritual stones and many strange fruits. Although they were all of low level, they were still valuable. Everyone gained a lot from this operation, 
and Zhang Baichuan even made a lot of money, earning more than 200,000 points directly. The crystal stone naturally belonged to Zhang Baichuan, but he was not a stingy person, so he just divided a piece among himself. As for the spiritual stone Zhang Baichuan shared equally among everyone, he looked down upon this thing. Sixth level crystals are special items, crystallized spiritual power and mental power, and can absorb all attributes. Starting from the half-step master level, they have the idea of supernatural attributes, and technology cannot convert attributes. Many masters were smiling. This operation not only solved the hidden dangers of this alien space, but also made a lot of money. They were waiting for Zhang Baichuan to exchange for the half-step master level attribute crystals. Just as everyone was preparing to return, Zhang Baichuan felt something was not right. The area behind the blood demon monkey seemed familiar. Zhang Baichuan directly told the masters about this matter. Matthew also felt that it looked familiar, and then several people decided to investigate. According to the current environment, the few people chose a direction with fewer strange beasts to move forward. The further they walked, the more surprised they became. Unexpectedly, after running for hundreds of kilometers, Daxia's base actually appeared in front of them. This discovery made several people uneasy. Why did they reach other alien spaces? This is also the deployment of the provincial capital. They have traveled hundreds of kilometers in the alien space, and they are still within the provincial capital. Even the soldiers on duty were stunned. No one had recently carried out missions in the space. If they hadn't known these people, they would have thought that cult members were involved. Matthew didn't press too hard. After a few words, he directly contacted Director Zhang and explained their findings. Director Zhang was also shocked. How could this be possible? It is possible for other worlds to be interconnected, but on Blue Star they are only a few miles apart, but in space they are hundreds of kilometers away. How is this possible? The others thought it was a joke when they told him this, but Matthew had been fighting for Daxia for more than 10 years, so he would definitely not entertain him. This matter was directly reported to Daxia's top management. Such a discovery must be prevented in advance. If the alien space is a huge hole, how should the human race face it? Zhang Baichuan naturally thought of something, but he was still powerless and could only quickly improve his strength. As long as he was strong, all difficulties would be solved. Zhang Baichuan and the other masters returned to the academy. This operation was finally over. He planned to go to another dimension to find the giant python to trade tomorrow. Zhang Baichuan originally wanted to try the Thunder Grass in the System Mall first to see if he could improve the quality of his supernatural power to a spiritual body, but after seeing that he wanted five plants, he gave up. Sure enough, the more points you have, the higher the price of the things you want to buy. Now let's go see if the giant python has any good things. The next day, Zhang Baichuan took off from his dormitory and flew directly to the otherworldly space at the Provincial Natural Park. Many students looked envious after seeing this. The freshmen of this class had been suppressed by Zhang Baichuan and did not dare to stand out. The other top 10 universities did not brag about the genius of the college in the past. The top 50 in the freshman competition were all immersed in training just to get closer to Zhang Baichuan, but there were always reports of him rebelling against their master, which made their hearts flutter. Zhang Baichuan quickly arrived at the entrance to the space. The soldiers on duty had already received the notification. After checking his identity information, they gave him a military salute. As soon as Zhang Baichuan stepped into the space, he felt the hostility of several master-level alien species, as well as the aura of the venerable level in the distance, which made his hair stand on end. As if he thought of something, Zhang Baichuan took out the giant python scale from the holding ring. In an instant, the dangerous aura dissipated, and Zhang Baichuan felt much more relaxed instantly. The aura of the venerable level rushed toward him in the distance. Zhang Baichuan took a deep breath, trying to relieve his inner uneasiness. Within a few minutes, a giant python dozens of meters long appeared in front of him, but it was not the one traded last time. The leader is waiting at the camp. You can follow him. The giant snake stared at Zhang Baichuan for a long time. There was no emotion in the words in his mouth, and there was no expression of looking down on him. Zhang Baichuan nodded and began to follow the opponent. Looking at the creatures wandering around, he was still a little anxious. There were too many grandmasters in this area, and the strength of the provincial capitals was still very different. 
It didn't take long for Zhang Baichuan to arrive at the python's lair. It was a little different from what he had imagined. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be a huge building complex, similar to a palace-type building. Seeing that many of the buildings were made of spirit stones, Zhang Baichuan felt a little emotional. This big water snake is really rich. The giant python brought Zhang Baichuan to the palace, then turned and left. Apparently it was just a leader, a venerable leader. Come in. Zhang Baichuan was also stunned when he heard the voice. The voice was completely female, without any twists and turns. Zhang Baichuan also bravely walked in. When he saw the floor piled with spiritual stones, he felt that he had entered a treasure house. In his previous life, the gems on these decorations were enough for him to squander for a lifetime. While he was thinking, a figure slowly wandered over from the inner hall, and the aura emanating from it instantly made Zhang Baichuan's hair stand on end. Looking up, he was instantly stunned. Isn't this Medusa? He has a human body and a snake's tail, and his appearance is very handsome. A charming aura enveloped the entire hall. Zhang Baichuan's supreme creation heart meridian was running automatically in his body, and he was instantly awakened. Cold sweat began to drip down his cheeks and onto the floor. The giant python, no, it should be called Medusa now. Medusa was also a little surprised. She had just made a breakthrough in strength and had not yet controlled her aura. Even a few of her own race didn't want to get close, but this little thing was able to resist. Why did you come here to trade so quickly? It had only been a few days, and this little guy came over. The outside world's spiritual power was so weak that it was impossible for so many spiritual herbs to appear. Moreover, his spiritual herbs appeared out of thin air, so he obviously had some secret. I have a way to deal with the spiritual grass, but I don't know how well you prepared the crystal stone. Zhang Baichuan was a little uncomfortable with being stared at like this, so he could only bite the bullet and start talking about business. Say your conditions, and I will find a way to solve it. This king, this Medusa actually became king. Behind the venerable is the king realm. Zhang Baichuan didn't hesitate and simply selected the half-step master level crystal according to its attributes. Medusa was also surprised. She didn't expect this guy to want to exchange for so many crystals. Unfortunately, it didn't have thunder crystals anymore, it had other crystals. If you have a venerable grade crystal, I can choose to exchange it for high quality spiritual grass. Is this true? Medusa's eyes shone brightly. She was at the final stage of advancement. She had reached the king level. If she got a precious medicine, she would reach the sky in one step. Seeing that Medusa cared so much, Zhang Baichuan felt that he had said the wrong thing. He wouldn't be robbed, would he? Medusa also felt Zhang Baichuan's fear, with a smile on her face. She twisted her snake tail and came behind him, and her delicate jade hands began to caress his cheek. If you can take out the precious medicine, I will give you the five series venerable level crystals and two half-step venerable level thunder crystals. How about it? Are you excited? Zhang Baichuan dared not move at this moment. This Medusa was unpredictable and her strength was terrifying, so he could only nod in agreement. 200,000 points can be exchanged for five venerable level crystals and two half-step thunder crystals. You will also make a lot of money. When the time comes, let a few mentors work for you, and the business will not be a loss. We don't have any thunder crystals for the time being. The other five elements can be prepared now. Where is your precious medicine? Medusa's face was close to Zhang Baichuan's ear, her breath was like blue, but he could feel a trace of murderous intention from the other party. If he couldn't take it out, he probably wouldn't be able to go back. Zhang Baichuan could only spend 200,000 points in the system mall to buy a blue water spirit grass, which appeared in his hand. Zhang Baichuan could feel the rich water-based radiance of the spiritual grass in his hand. Before he could take a closer look, Medusa snatched it away. Its eyes were shining, and it was obviously too excited. The aura on its body burst out directly, and poor Zhang Baichuan was directly knocked away. Are you turning your back on someone? Medusa also noticed it and her face turned red. Apparently she was too excited and almost killed the boy delivering the treasure by mistake. Just when Zhang Baichuan thought that he was in danger, the other party threw five shining crystals over, and Zhang Baichuan immediately shut up. Sorry, I am too happy. You will pick up the thunder crystal in a few days. 
If there is such a treasure, it is not impossible to get a thunder crystal. Medusa very much doubted that Zhang Baichuan was still there, but since it couldn't sense it, it was better to take it slow. One day, it would know the secret. Zhang Baichuan was also a little moved when he heard about the thunder-type venerable crystal, and quickly asked Medusa to prepare it, and then he would go hunting for the treasure medicine. Medusa nodded, raised her jade hand and waved it gently, indicating that Zhang Baichuan could go back. Zhang Baichuan also cursed in his heart that the other party was really nothing, even though he was here, he didn't even treat him to some special delicacies. Seeing Zhang Baichuan leaving, Medusa was also silent. The precious medicine was a rare find in another world. Why was he so confident? Zhang Baichuan walked out of the hall, sweating all over his body, and feeling a little palpitated at the moment. This monster was really too terrifying. Not to mention his strength, his charming charm made him a little unstable, and he was suffering all the time, especially when he was approached by it, it was hard not to want to feel that way. With Medusa's scales on his body, Zhang Baichuan came without any biological interference, and everyone who saw him gave him a detour. Zhang Baichuan also thought it was interesting, but he didn't know if it would work in other alien spaces. When Zhang Baichuan returned to the entrance of the space, many soldiers also gave him a full body check, fearing that alien creatures might impersonate him. Director Zhang heard that Zhang Baichuan had gone to another dimension and was already waiting at the base. He was also a little excited to see Zhang Baichuan come back safely, which proved that the aliens here were still capable of diplomacy. Seeing Director Zhang, Zhang Baichuan was also a little surprised. He told him what he saw when he entered the alien space, but did not discuss the specific content of the transaction. Director Zhang turned pale when he heard that the other party had reached the king's realm. If diplomacy failed, the entire provincial capital would no longer exist. Director Zhang Xuan didn't hesitate much and simply asked Zhang Baichuan to go back, and then reported the matter to the higher-ups. Zhang Baichuan went back to the academy directly. Luo Yiyi was still in class, and only Xiaobai was lying in the kennel practicing. Seeing Zhang Baichuan come in, Xiaobai whimpered weakly, which meant that there were no more training resources. Zhang Baichuan also found it funny. Where was your pride before, you? I still like to see your unruly look. He threw a few ice crystals casually, which made Xiaobai wag his tail happily and even wanted to come over and lick him. Zhang Baichuan gave him a big lick in return. Zhang Baichuan called several mentors and asked them to come over to discuss the matter. Everyone was excited that their opportunity had come. In less than 10 minutes, six instructors rushed over, everyone smiling. Seeing how happy they all were, Zhang Baichuan felt a little sorry for Ma Taibao because he hadn't gotten the crystal yet. Dear mentors, the situation this time is a bit complicated. Let me tell you about the process of this transaction. Zhang Baichuan immediately made up a lie, saying that he borrowed some things from the alien species in exchange for five venerable level crystals. Several people were also stimulated by the venerable level crystal. So everyone is hopeful. Hearing that the thunder element had not arrived, and that in a few days there would only be one half-step master level crystal, Matthew felt a little disappointed. If everyone else had half-step master level crystals, he would feel better. Matthew waved his hand, indicating that he had no problem, but when he heard that the other party was looking for the thunder-type venerable crystal stone, his face burst into laughter, and he quickly said that it would be fine if it was a few days late. After everyone talked, Zhang Baichuan asked several instructors to use the crystals first, and then help him deal with ten master-level beasts. Several instructors hurriedly patted their chests and promised that this was a trivial matter and would be taken care of by them. If you are an advanced venerable, there will be no problem with twenty of them. Zhang Baichuan's face lit up with joy when he saw his instructor agreeing. You may make a small profit, but I will never lose. Everyone laughed immediately. After the instructors left, Zhang Baichuan was not so excited. Medusa was about to advance to the king level. How the hell could she catch up with her in the future? At this moment, in the hall of the head of state, the old man looked embarrassed after hearing the call from Director Zhang of Zhang province. The news was too shocking. Although it was speculated that there would be such existence in other worlds, now it has actually happened. If alien creatures begin to explode, where will Daxia go? The old man also called many people to organize a meeting. Faced with this news, the others remained silent. 
They all knew that if they made a wrong step, they would be the eternal sinners of Daxia and even the entire human race. The old man looked at the people in front of him without saying anything, understanding the seriousness of this matter. Since no one has any good opinions, let me speak for myself. Since Zhang province has the ability to engage in diplomacy, we will let them continue. If something happens one day, all the blame will be on my own initiative. The meeting is over. Quote, the instructors who received the crystal stones returned to their dormitories, each asked a grandmaster to protect their formation, and they couldn't wait to advance. None of them were the proud ones when they were young, but their resources were limited and the progress from grandmaster to venerable level was too long, resulting in them staying at grandmaster for too long. Now that everything is available, how can we wait? If this advancement failed, there would be no chance of working for Zhang Baichuan again. The Grandmaster who protected him was also very upset. Why did he let them go hunting first? If he had been tougher, wouldn't he have been the one to break through? While these people are still making breakthroughs, Zhang Baichuan has no plans to go hunting. As for going to another world to get crystal stones in the next few days, he has no plans to do so. He didn't have any points, so he didn't dare to go there. He was really too lacking in confidence, and he would be crushed even if he went there. He might as well practice hard. We are getting closer and closer to the Grand Master. At this speed, it will be enough within one month. If we have a half-step venerable grade crystal, it may be a few days faster. Zhang Baichuan was a little entangled, considering whether to go or not, but he was afraid that the other party was not ready. I hope that the instructor can break through quickly and go hunting in other worlds. When the time comes, he can get the crystal and go into retreat. Zhang Baichuan was still practicing at the moment when he heard a message on his cell phone. Unexpectedly, it was from Li Hao. This guy finally broke through to Wuho. It's not easy. Zhang Baichuan gave him five Yunling pills a few days ago, and with so many fifth-level crystals, no one has made a breakthrough until now, and no one has given him an intermediate level of supernatural power. It seems that after the hunting is over, a piece of earth spirit grass will be prepared for him. Otherwise, I don't know how long it will take to advance to the master level, Zhang Baichuan murmured to himself. When Luo Yi came back from school and saw Zhang Baichuan, she was also very happy, laughing that he finally came back alive from another dimension. Zhang Baichuan was also a little dumbfounded. Are you praising me or cursing me? Zhang Baichuan is ready to exchange training resources for Luo Yi. At this moment, he has enough sixth order crystals and can provide her with a large supply. The strength of alien space creatures makes Zhang Baichuan a little impatient. After explaining, Zhang Baichuan became a little moved. He was too mentally tortured by Medusa and needed to release the pressure with Luo Yi. Early the next morning, there was a call. One of the instructors was the first to break through the venerable level. He was very excited in his words and thanked Zhang Baichuan. Zhang Baichuan was also a little surprised. He didn't expect someone to break through now. He thought it would take more than a week. Originally, a new venerable appeared, and Zhang Baichuan thought that the remaining mentors would be released soon, but the wait lasted for many days. Zhang Baichuan couldn't sit idle. He asked the advanced sages to guard the teachers who were still in retreat. Another team was also preparing to set off. Matthew Taibao still strongly requested to participate. He didn't know whether he was worried about Zhang Baichuan's safety or worried that he wouldn't get the crystal, but he just wanted to go along. Zhang Baichuan didn't stop him too much. Now there are three venerables in the provincial capital, including him as a master. With the experience last time, Zhang Baichuan chose a low-level space to enter this time, and then sneaked into the depths of this space. They also have another purpose, which is to assist the official survey of all the terrain around the entrance to the space and make a detailed report on the distribution range of the alien beasts. Since the alien space is connected, then control all the low-level areas in your own hands and try to put the battle line in the space. It is too dangerous to guard the entrance of the space. With the survey mission, everyone wasted a lot of time, but there was nothing they could do. Daxia's safety was above all else. Many masters acted separately, divided the activity areas of the alien beasts in their respective areas, and then calculated an average value. It took three days to do this, and this was only the time when a group of master-level people came back. One can imagine what kind of existence they would find if they went deeper. After everyone gathered, 
they began to select the master level ethnic beasts as targets. Zhang Baichuan finally chose the blood demon monkey group. After all, they had some experience. It was better to act according to the original plan, with Zhang Baichuan, the sixth one, as bait to lure some of the blood monkeys out and then beat them to death in a group. Those grandmasters who participated for the first time were also a little shocked. They originally thought it would be a bloody battle, but they didn't expect it to be so easy. Moreover, Zhang Baichuan's combat power was beyond their expectations. How could such a Waho be more powerful than them? In less than a day, another group of blood evil monkeys was slaughtered, and the contents of the nest were divided up by everyone. Several grand masters were so happy that they couldn't help but smile. This was so exciting. In the past, people were always disturbed by these strange beasts, but now they feel the opposite, which is really not a good feeling. Not only was his heart satisfied, but today's harvest also included the half-step venerable crystal stone promised by Zhang Baichuan. They all told Zhang Baichuan that they should do it a few more times. Zhang Baichuan saw the faces of these masters glowing red, and he was also excited in his heart. He got more than 200,000 points, and also gained a group of workers. After exiting the space entrance, several people saw director Zhang waiting outside. Now Zhang Baichuan has become an important figure, and his every move involves the safety of the provincial capital. Seeing Zhang Baichuan back, Director Zhang was relieved. It would be great to be back. Zhang Baichuan handed over the data provided by several people to Director Zhang, which could be regarded as completing the task. He hoped that the officials would take action. After Director Zhang saw the data, he gave a military salute to Zhang Baichuan and others to express his gratitude for their contribution. The matter had been resolved and there was not much communication between the two parties. Director Zhang turned around and submitted the data to the upper management. As soon as he returned to the academy, Zhang Baichuan saw several people flying towards him. After a closer look, he found that they were the instructors in seclusion. Four of the five mentors have broken through to the level of the venerable, and one is still at the half-step venerable level. This is a great thing. If the hunting plan can continue, they hope to cultivate a large number of venerable level experts, and the strength of the entire Great Shah will be qualitatively improved. Several instructors thanked Zhang Baichuan repeatedly, and the face of Matthew Taibao next to him changed. He turned from red to green, then from green to black, and he felt like crying but had no tears in his heart. Why was he the number one grandmaster in the academy? Although he is still the number one grandmaster now, others have broken through to another level. After chatting with each other for a while, several instructors also said that they would definitely set off on time for the next hunt. When he returned to the dormitory and found out that Luo Yi was still in class, Zhang Baichuan sent a message to Li Hao and asked him to come over after school. Zhang Baichuan wanted to take this opportunity to improve the quality of Li Hao's abilities. The points seemed to be a lot now, but they didn't cost much. If I don't buy it for him now, I don't know when I will. Use it early and enjoy it early. Zhang Baichuan came to this world without many friends. If you can help him, try to help him. Who knows what the future will be like? Zhang Baichuan also noticed Xiao Bai in the kennel, and he couldn't laugh or cry at the moment. This dog was actually watching TV. Xiao Bai felt Zhang Baichuan's gaze and looked up. He didn't understand what was wrong with this big devil. He looked at it like this and could only wag his tail to show that he was very well behaved. Zhang Baichuan withdrew his gaze, feeling a little unhappy. This person was carefree all day long. The harder he worked, the better off this idiot would be. If there is a crisis in the human race, this fool will probably change his identity and live happily among alien creatures. Thinking of this, Zhang Baichuan had the urge to give it two big buckles, but seeing the cute look on the other side, he still held it back. Next time Luo Yi goes to fight, let this idiot go with him, don't let him sit idle. Xiao Bai in the kennel also felt a chill all over. He felt like someone was trying to kill him. He was so frightened that he turned off the TV and hid his head under his stomach. When the students were over from school, Zhang Baichuan saw Li Hao appearing in front of him with sweat on his head. He had obviously run all the way here. Why are you in such a hurry? I can't run. Li Hao was also a little embarrassed, thinking that Zhang Baichuan wanted his help, so he hurried over after class. 
The two chatted for a while, and Zhang Baichuan handed the soil spirit grass to him and asked him to take it after he returned. Li Hao could feel the extraordinary power of this herb, and he was very moved in his heart, but he left without saying anything. Seeing Li Hao leaving, Zhang Baichuan also sighed, hoping that this guy could practice well, and I might not be able to take care of him anymore. At this time, in the imperial palace of the head of state, the old man had some thoughts after seeing the data provided by Zhang Baichuan and the others. After seeing Zhengwu Academy produce several venerable levels in a row, I made a decision directly in my heart. A meeting was quickly organized, and after showing the data to the people sitting there, the old man also put forward his own ideas. Rather than sit back and wait for death, it is better to feed war with war and directly start launching small-scale wars in other worlds. The case of Zhang Province Zhengwu Academy made everyone present feel that it was an opportunity. If they could obtain more resources and crystals, it would speed up the progress of Daxia's strength. Everyone raised their hands and thought that there was no problem with the old man's proposal, and then began to discuss how to formulate a reasonable plan. The next day, Zhang Baichuan decided to go to another space to find Medusa. After several days, the other party must have prepared the crystal. Now he is getting closer and closer to the Grand Master, but he is getting more and more impatient. After getting the crystal this time, he is ready to retreat to break through the Grand Master. Looking at Zhang Baichuan soaring into the sky, many students became a little numb. They only wanted to practice hard in their hearts. He couldn't be allowed to show off all by himself. Zhang Baichuan came into the space, took out his scales, and flew directly towards Medusa's palace. The aliens around him also pretended that he did not exist. When Zhang Baichuan arrived, he found that there was actually a distinguished person intercepting him at the door outside the palace. Stop the visitor. I have something to tell you. I will make a decision after reporting it to my queen. What's going on? We haven't seen each other for just a few days, and it's actually the king of the giant python in front of us. Is she rebelling? When Zhang Baichuan first met him, he said that this Medusa was following the will of that king, and now she is the king. I'm looking for a deal with your king. The giant python nodded, roared slightly at the palace, and ignored it. Zhang Baichuan felt a little embarrassed. Wasn't this too perfunctory? Let him in. The voice changed again, this time it was Yu Jia's voice. There was a soft feeling in Zhang Baichuan's ears, which made him shiver. The giant python that conveyed the message actually drooled, leaving Zhang Baichuan speechless. Can you be more professional? When Zhang Baichuan saw the giant python moved out of the way, he walked over quickly, not wanting to see this disgusting thing again. As soon as he entered the main hall, he found that it was empty, with only the sound of subtle footsteps coming from behind the curtain. The moment Medusa appeared, Zhang Baichuan's eyes almost fell out. Is this tempting me? At this moment, Medusa is no different from a normal person. She has a voluptuous figure and thin strands of tulle. Everything inside can be vaguely seen. Long live. Is this evildoer trying to seduce me? Seeing Zhang Baichuan's look, Medusa was also stunned for a moment, then she smiled, waved her delicate hand, and a coat covered her body. Zhang Baichuan secretly thought, good guy, you understand men well. You don't cover the places that should be covered, but you cover the things that shouldn't be covered tightly. Seeing Zhang Baichuan's nosebleed, Medusa was also a little surprised. Is this little guy so weak? I have prepared two Thunder-type half-step master-level crystals, but do you need anything else? Medusa then sat on a gorgeous chair, her jade feet resting directly on the armrests. This move stunned Zhang Baichuan. Sister, we are here to trade goods, not to talk about friendship. Zhang Baichuan stopped looking at her. It was so exciting, but business was more important. I need all kinds of crystals. I need a lot of half-step venerable level crystals. I can't buy many of the venerable level crystals right now. Medusa raised her head and glanced at him, feeling very satisfied when she saw the other person's embarrassed expression. Thinking that Zhang Baichuan needed so many crystals, Medusa was also a little moved. If she could collect a few more precious medicines, when the spirit body is fully mature, it would not be an extravagant hope to reach the saint level. At that time, I would be able to return the ethnic group to the top 10 races, among the list. She has no shortage of half-step venerable grade crystals now. 
From the day of the transaction, she has been purchasing a large number of them, just waiting for this money-giving boy to come to her door. If you take out the precious medicine again, I will give you half-step master level crystals of each series, a total of 100. Zhang Baichuan was also shocked. He had lost a lot of money just by replacing a few pieces of venerable level crystals. If you can answer some questions for me, I will be willing to exchange them. Good. Medusa was also very happy at the moment, and she stood up from her seat without paying attention to her coat falling off. If you have any questions, please tell me. What I can tell you is not a secret, and secrets will not help you. Zhang Baichuan no longer cared about the other party's pink skull and directly expressed his doubts. After the venerable level, supernatural thoughts are covered with spiritual power. When the spiritual power value reaches a limit value, the liquid spiritual power in the Dantian will be transformed into mana. This moment is a sign of advancing to the king level, but there is a hurdle, that is, the quality of the superpower needs to be above the level of talent. When I reach the king level, I will inherit the title of the clan, and you can call me Medusa 21. Quote. Medusa walked behind Zhang Baichuan as she spoke, leaning against him slightly, exhaling like a blue breath. Zhang Baichuan didn't dare to move at the moment. He still had many questions. Are there many races above the king level in other worlds? As soon as these words were spoken, Zhang Baichuan could clearly feel some fluctuations in Medusa's mood, and he was also panicking inside. He would not kill anyone and silence her after being informed, right? It's okay to tell you that there are ten major races in the other world, and their strength is unfathomable. Every major race above the king level has one. These are their heritage. The ten major races are distributed throughout the continent, and their habitats are 100,000 miles from your outside world. Quote. Zhang Baichuan instantly became decadent. He was playing with a hammer. There were people above the king level, the highest level in the entire blue star, the venerable level. Then why no kings invade our continent? Medusa was not in a hurry and hugged Zhang Baichuan from behind. This move made Zhang Baichuan even more afraid to move. Isn't this the way snakes hunt for prey? Your spiritual energy in the outside world is weak, and the king level is king because of its powerful magic power. It is difficult to quickly recover the magic power in the outside world. If it is consumed to death, wouldn't it become a joke? The king level is not a cabbage, it is the top combat power in the ethnic group. If there is a big loss, other ethnic groups will not let go of the opportunity. Quote. Hearing what she said, Zhang Baichuan also relaxed a lot, but eldest sister, can you not hold me so tightly, I will be strangled to death by you. Why do most races want to invade us? But you don't. Medusa rubbed her face on his back without speaking directly. The mainland is so big. Why not occupy new territories? There are ethnic groups who are warlike by nature and spend their lives plundering. And my tribe just wants to get back its past glory. Quote. Zhang Baichuan was also a little confused. Now that Medusa is king, she won't move again, right? Medusa didn't say anything after she finished speaking, but her mood became a little unstable and her momentum spread out. Zhang Baichuan felt like the sky was about to fall. Then let's make a deal. Zhang Baichuan quickly changed the topic, as he was afraid of being accidentally killed if this continued. After Medusa heard the transaction, she calmed down instantly. She touched Zhang Baichuan's face with her delicate hand, and a smile appeared on her face. When the green water spirit grass appeared in Zhang Baichuan's hand, Medusa's eyes glowed when she looked at him, which made Zhang Baichuan feel scared. In Medusa's eyes, Zhang Baichuan is the hope for the rise of their tribe. If they can regain the glory of their ancestors, it doesn't matter even if they live or die. Zhang Baichuan was also a little surprised. This time, he didn't grab it openly, but scattered the half-step venerable crystal stone all over the floor, and he kept staring at him after that. When Zhang Baichuan put the green water spirit grass into her hands, the other party came back to her senses. This made him feel a little scared. Is this evildoer delirious? Zhang Baichuan didn't want to stay too long. Who knew what this monster would do later? Where could he go to explain himself if he was accidentally killed? When Zhang Baichuan left, Medusa didn't hold him back. Now that the things were in hand, there was no friendship anymore and she could only wait until the treasure delivery boy came to visit next time. With this treasure, her aptitude will definitely reach the flawless level.
If she exchanges it a few more times, there is no need to worry about not being able to reach the spiritual body. She heard that all human males were lower body animals, so she couldn't believe that she couldn't be fascinated by this boy who gave away the treasure. At this time, Zhang Baichuan was also frightened. It was so exciting that he even used this to test him. If the monster's strength wasn't so terrifying, he might have fallen victim to it. As soon as Zhang Baichuan appeared at the entrance of the space, Director Zhang was still waiting outside. Seeing Zhang Baichuan's face covered in blood, he immediately panicked. Facing Director Zhang's eager face, Zhang Baichuan was also a little confused. Why are I looking at me like this? What happened? Classmate Zhang, why are you injured? Zhang Baichuan also remembered it at this time, and actually forgot to clean his face. Director Zhang, don't worry. The transaction was successful. Don't worry about these details. Director Zhang also felt a little guilty. Zhang Baichuan had sacrificed a lot for Daxia. Who doesn't like such an outstanding young man? If Luo Qianjin hadn't struck first, he would have wanted to marry his daughter to Zhang Baichuan. Zhang Baichuan cleaned his face and prepared to say goodbye to Director Zhang. As for the ten major ethnic groups in the other world, it was better not to talk about it. It would only increase worries. Zhang Baichuan's face glowed red. He had gained a lot this time. Even if he hunted a few more times, he would still have the chips to pay, and Medusa could take it easy. After returning to the academy, Zhang Baichuan directly sent a message to the Grandmaster who participated in the last hunting operation, but there were only two Thunder Type 1s. He wanted to use them himself, so Matthew should get one first. Several masters also hurried over, and Zhang Baichuan directly distributed half-step master level crystals to them. Matthew still had to explain something. Although Matthew is a little disappointed, it is good to have one. There will be one next time. If you are lucky, it is not impossible to advance at once. The masters also hurriedly left, saying that they would be called for the next event and were preparing to go home and try to absorb the crystal stones. Zhang Baichuan also made plans at this moment. After Luo Yi finished class, he was going to practice in seclusion and would not go out until he was a master. As a student, Zhang Baichuan had really only attended classes for a few days, but no one came to urge him, which made many classmates envious and jealous. In Junwu Academy, the dean's office is also full of people at the moment, all discussing the official news. All senior students are officially required to participate in space hunting, and other students at the general level are also required. The army began to attack the low-level alien space, and the students served as auxiliary forces and moved the base hundreds of miles away. No one here objected to the official decision. They had been waiting for the alien beasts to attack the city, so they might as well take the initiative to not only hone the students' combat abilities but also obtain more crystals. At this time, many instructors also began to count the number of people and reported all suitable personnel to the town security bureau, which would be under unified command. Zhang Baichuan was also practicing while waiting for Luo Yi. The vibration of his cell phone made him wake up instantly. He was a little surprised when he saw the message sent to him by the college. The official execution was very fast. Implementation started in just a few days. Not long after, Zhang Baichuan saw Luo Yi coming back from get out of class. As soon as Luo Yi saw him, she told him that the academy was going to the battlefield, and she felt excited and uneasy in her heart. She didn't know if the two of them were together. Zhang Baichuan was also a little surprised. How about allocating personnel? Why didn't he receive the assignment notice? The two talked for a while, mainly Zhang Baichuan comforted Luo Yi and told her to pay attention to safety at all times and not to show off. She was just a new student and she would retreat if she couldn't beat her. Also, Zhang Baichuan mentioned that he was going to retreat. Luo Yi was also very surprised. She was about to advance so soon, and her spiritual power was only over half. They had to be separated for a while, but the two cherished the time together and worked hard all night. The next day, after Zhang Baichuan watched Luo Yi go out, he immediately locked up the courtyard. This time, he needed to break through the master in one go. Zhang Baichuan sat on the ground, took out the half-step venerable crystal, and began to absorb and refine it. At this moment, Luo Yi also arrived at the assembly area under the arrangement of the instructor, 
accompanied by a big white wolf with a shoulder height of 1.5 meters, which also caused quite a sensation among the students. At this time, Xiaobai was also a little confused. What on earth was he going to do? Why was he kicked out by the big devil before he finished watching the TV series? Many instructors have heard about Xiaobai and know that it is a giant frost wolf. Although it is not very big, its strength cannot be underestimated. Li Hao was also a little happy. He and Luo Yi were on the same team, so they could take care of each other, and he could cut off the rear in the face of danger. With Zhang Baichuan's spiritual grasp, his supernatural power has reached a high level. He is grateful to Zhang Baichuan from the bottom of his heart. As a brother, he must not let Luo Yi be in danger. As the students continued to gather, the instructor counted the number of students and began to let the students get on the bus in batches and transport them to their respective alien space bases. At this time, the alien space was also bustling with people, and many students were talking to each other. Some were worried, some were worried, and some were excited, ready to show off their talents among their classmates. Students and soldiers are directly integrated into teams and led by experienced soldiers, allowing students to adapt faster and reducing unnecessary losses. As time passed, the town security bureau issued the signal to attack and began to advance towards the area where the alien beasts were active. The entire provincial capital is also a military force, and some auxiliary personnel with special abilities have also begun to make tools and construction materials to transport to other dimensions at any time. When all the teams moved forward, the auxiliary personnel at the back began to build roads, and planned to build a supply depot every 10 miles to ensure that the teams in front had no worries. At this moment, Luo Yi was riding on Xiao Bai's body, looking heroic, and the alloy dagger in his hand was also stained with the blood of alien beasts. Xiao Bai is also a little depressed. Luo Yi always lets him charge in front, so you can't just be lazy with others. Also, why are these ugly things scolding me? Xiao Bai was a little strange. My bloodline was noble and I was not at the same level as these ugly purple monsters. You actually dare to scold me, let's see if I don't beat your mouth to pieces. Xiao Bai was immediately interested in those with a lower level than him. Luo Yi only wanted to say, rush, which was quite positive. In the initial areas of these alien spaces, many students also showed off their skills. Colorful attacks could be seen everywhere. Everyone's eyes were filled with excitement, and the previous fear was diluted a lot. Zhang Baichuan also felt it at this moment. His spiritual power had begun to reach a critical point, and he was just one step away from becoming a master, but some incredible changes seemed to have occurred in his body. This feeling is very wonderful, a feeling of enlightenment fills the whole body, and then the liquid spiritual power in the body begins to become restless. All the meridians in his body were also running rapidly, and his body began to slowly float. At this moment, he desperately wanted to control it, but he just couldn't stabilize it. Why did you say that as long as the spiritual power level is enough? This feeling lasted for a few minutes, but Zhang Baichuan felt that it was a really long time. Then his body began to become smoother, and a sense of comfort began to spread throughout his body. Zhang Baichuan felt so good at this moment, and the spiritual power in his body was so surging that he had the fighting spirit to fight Medusa for 300 rounds. But when he recalled Medusa's original momentum, Zhang Baichuan suddenly woke up and realized that he was drifting. There are two big differences in realms, what should I fight with? Congratulations to the host for breaking through to become a master. The system rewards you with the martial skill, Purple Lightning Demonic Spear. Ha, huh, there are actually rewards. Zhang Baichuan had seen this martial skill before, but he had no desire to buy it because it cost 200,000 points. Purple Electric Demonic Gun Launches a combo attack on a single target, up to 9 consecutive hits, each consecutive hit increases the damage by 10%. Originally, the Thunder Gun was a tool for extending supernatural powers in his hands. With this shooting skill, his strength must have improved a lot. Zhang Baichuan opened the properties panel, and he always felt a little weird. Host, Zhang Baichuan, age, 18, realm, Wuzong, Shuho. Spiritual power value, 10,258. Mental strength, 8,527. Talent skills, palm thunder, divine sense, range 2,000 meters, void currently no consumption. Kung Fu, lightning thunder fist, 
Supreme Creation Heart Sutra Part 1 Martial Skills Lightning Thunder Fist Burning Blood Technique The technique has expired Thunder Flash Purple Lightning Demon Spear Thunder Chain Thunder Half Moon Slash Spells Object Control Shocking Thorn Supernatural Power 5 Thunders 0.1 When Zhang Baichuan saw that the Burning Blood Technique had failed, he was immediately confused. Your pretentious skill actually failed. How can this allow me to leapfrog the battle? Then when he saw the magical power, he immediately grinned. This is a magical power. It was the numerical value behind this magical power that made him a little confused. What the hell is 0.1? Can this magical power evolve in the end? Feeling his own strength, Zhang Baichuan began to condense thunder and lightning in his hands, wanting to see any changes. When the thunder and lightning manifested, Zhang Baichuan was a little surprised. All the thunder and lightning turned into lavender. Even the thunder in the palm was a 5-meter-high lavender handprint. Zhang Baichuan didn't believe in evil, so he directly condensed the thunder half-moon slash. Unexpectedly, it was also a lavender crescent moon. Has he mutated? While there was no one around, Zhang Baichuan also tried the five lightning whips. Unexpectedly, it was still lavender thunder and lightning. What was even more outrageous was that nine thunder and lightning whips actually appeared. At this moment, Zhang Baichuan also understood that his power had mutated. The power of thunder and lightning had become much stronger, but he was not sure how. Now that the Grand Master has been defeated, the most important thing is to gain a lot of points and improve the quality of the abilities to the top. The aliens are too powerful, so they must speed up their training. Zhang Baichuan sent a message to several mentors, but he didn't expect that several of them were assigned to guard the space. Even the other masters were very busy. Matthew Taibao has also reached the half-step master level, but compared with other instructors, he is no longer happy. He is currently assisting in an alien space, and when he is angry, he takes it out on alien beasts. Zhang Baichuan was a little speechless. The newly hired workers were all working as temporary workers. He had no choice but to work on his own. An hour later, Zhang Baichuan appeared in the alien space and began to look for Luo Yi to see what was happening on the other side. According to the action plan of the town security bureau, Zhang Baichuan soon saw Luo Yi fighting the enemy bravely. Xiao Bai sitting down was very excited. This feeling of beating made him very satisfied. Zhang Baichuan didn't want to disturb them and started flying directly in front of them. They were all trying to kill the strange beasts. He might as well kill some of the masters and above in front of them. After flying for dozens of miles, Zhang Baichuan finally saw a herd of beasts, which were somewhat similar to the blood tiger beasts, but twice the size. There were more than 20 master level beasts. As for whether there were any venerable level beasts, Zhang Baichuan did not sense it. Zhang Baichuan quickly condensed the thunder half moon slash, and a purple crescent moon more than 10 meters wide appeared directly. He waved his hand and threw it out. The purple crescent moon rushed into the group of blood evil tigers with a thunderous sound. The first few master level blood evil tigers were directly cut in half. This scene shocked Zhang Baichuan. Is it so powerful? But when I felt the points prompted by the system, I felt a little unhappy. Only 5,000 points were added to each one. The beast herd was also in a commotion at this moment, and more than 10 master level blood evil tigers rushed over, including three half-step master level ones. Zhang Baichuan was full of fighting spirit, and he also wanted to see what level his current strength was. The thunder chains began to condense, and the nine thunder chains began to rotate at high speed within a range of 100 meters. The purple lightning was shocked. The entire beast group also looked at him with some fear, and began to slowly retreat backwards. Zhang Baichuan was also a little surprised when he saw the other side actually trying to run away. How could so many grandmasters still want to run away? Faced with several mentors in the past, these strange beasts never thought of running away. Run, how can I let you run away? Zhang Baichuan will not give up the prey he has been chasing for a long time and will just gallop over. The blood fiend tiger also knew that he couldn't outrun the opponent, so he immediately started to counterattack, but as soon as he was hit by the lightning chain, a scorched gap was directly drawn on his body, and he was severely injured in an instant. Zhang Baichuan also felt that when the master level encountered his thunder and lightning, he could not resist the tyranny of purple lightning at all. 
The protective aura was as if it was in vain and would be instantly disintegrated once it came into contact. Within a moment, there were only three half-step venerables left on the field, still struggling to hold on. Their bodies were also covered with scorch marks, and their auras were a little unstable. Zhang Baichuan was also using these bloody tigers to practice his skills at this moment. The purple electric magic gun launched an attack on one of them. The thunder gun hit less than three times in a row, and the bloody tiger was instantly torn apart. Seeing this result, Zhang Baichuan was very satisfied. Before he could say a few words of emotion, the other two bloody tigers actually chose to escape separately. Zhang Baichuan gathered palm thunder in his hand and blasted towards one. The bloody tiger exploded directly and then turned into ashes. This scene shocked Zhang Baichuan, it was so powerful. Zhang Baichuan was in a daze for a while, and the bloody tiger had already run a long way away. He couldn't let it run away. Half a step to the level of the venerable was worth 10,000 points. The bloody tiger couldn't run away even if it wanted to, and even if it couldn't catch up for a while, Zhang Baichuan wasn't too anxious, feeling a bit like a cat catching a mouse. Just when Zhang Baichuan was about to catch up, he felt someone with venerable level strength rushing towards him, and he was instantly confused. Why the hell are you going to bring in reinforcements? It shouldn't be. Zhang Baichuan took action directly, and the thunder in his palm moved quickly. He was about to kill the bloody tiger and ran away. He did not have the courage to face two venerables alone. The thunder and lightning suddenly sounded like wind and thunder, and the entire area was covered by the thunder. Even the roar of the bloody tiger was drowned. After picking up the spar on the ground, Zhang Baichuan planned to return. Just as he was about to leave, he seemed to hear Matthew's voice. Zhang Baichuan was not very sure, and began to let go of his spiritual consciousness to check. If it was really Matthew Tebow who was being hunted down by the Venerable, he would definitely need help. At this time, Matthew was about to cry, and he was already in a very depressed mood. Several of his colleagues had advanced to the level of Venerables, but he was still a half-step Venerable. In a moment of anger, he attacked some strange beasts. Unexpectedly, he stung a hornet's nest. There were actually two Venerable level beasts inside. If only one of them had the confidence to escape, he would still have the confidence to escape. At this moment, his breath was a little unstable, and he tried his best to only injure one of them, which made the two venerable level beasts chase after him. Why, time is also fate. Matthew was a little reluctant, but he couldn't bring the alien beasts closer to the base, otherwise many people would be affected, so he could only look for opportunities in the surrounding areas. After flying for who knows how long, he found that there was an attack wave in front of him, so Matthew had no choice but to try. His spiritual power had been consumed too much, and he wouldn't be able to hold on for long even if he ran again. When Matthew flew over here, he happened to see Zhang Baichuan standing in the air. The two looked at each other, and the atmosphere was a bit awkward. Run quickly, two venerable level blood evil monkeys are chasing us. Zhang Baichuan was also a little confused. Can this bloody monkey reach the level of a venerable? Before long, a deafening stampede came from the front, and two blood evil monkeys nearly 10 meters high appeared in front. Teacher, step back, I'm going to start showing off. He didn't say this, but why didn't Matthew see it? He was so young and energetic. I just became a grandmaster and became so arrogant. Zhang Baichuan raised his hand directly. Just when he was about to activate the five thunders, he found that he was about to use his hand seal. This was so embarrassing. Matthew looked like he was playing monkey, and he suspected that this student was mentally retarded after breaking through the master. Zhang Baichuan realized it and immediately began to use his hand seals. In an instant, the entire area was covered by dark clouds, and the depressing atmosphere made Matthew unbelievable. Why the hell does this have the pressure of heaven and earth? The two blood demon monkeys also sensed danger and wanted to escape instantly, but the aura from the sky had locked onto them. In less than two seconds, several purple thunderbolts descended from the sky and struck down on the blood demon monkey's head. The blood demon monkey would not sit still and wait for death, and began to condense the Gang Chi armor all over his body, preparing to resist these thunderbolts. Then a scene that shocked Matthew appeared. The blood demon monkey's Gang Chi armor was shattered to pieces with one blow immediately fell apart with the second blow, and his aura was unstable after the third blow. 
There was a sudden thunder in the sky, and before the fifth strike, the two blood evil monkeys were immediately annihilated. Matthew swallowed, this was too outrageous, he couldn't accept it. Zhang Baichuan was not feeling well at this time. This five thunder blast directly consumed half of his spiritual power. This magical power could only be used as a special move now, and there was no spiritual power left to fire twice. Seeing Matthew's confused expression, Zhang Baichuan was quite satisfied. It was so satisfying to show off in front of the teacher. The two blood demon monkeys contributed 100,000 points, which was not bad. Together with the blood demon tiger in front, they got another 200,000 points, one step closer to 1 million. Zhang Baichuan picked up the crystals on the ground. This was another great harvest. There were still many sixth order crystals in front of him that he had not picked up. He directly said hello to Matthew and flew back. Matthew could only keep up. His eyes were full of doubts now. This boy's combat power was beyond his expectation. The Grandmaster level actually surpassed the venerable level in seconds. Why can't I do it? Then when he saw the bloody tigers all over the ground, Ma Taibao was completely numb. It was like killing a chicken in the same realm. How the hell was he, a person of the same thunder element, supposed to deal with himself? Zhang Baichuan was very happy. There were so many sixth order crystal stones that it was impossible to use them all. It was more than enough for Luo Qianjin, let alone Luo Yi. Classmate Zhang, did you have any adventures after you broke through to master level? Ma Taibao wouldn't believe it even if he beat him to death. They were both lightning type superpowers, so it was possible to have one against a few, but facing more than 20 of them at the same time, they were still half stepped to the level of a venerable. How could this be possible? Zhang Baichuan was very proud when he saw Matthew saying this. When he was assigned a mentor, Matthew pretended to be inscrutable. No, I just feel like I have some breakthrough in my understanding of supernatural powers. The more Zhang Baichuan downplayed it, the more Matthew felt sad. This was so Versailles. When Zhang Baichuan saw Matthew's expression, he couldn't tease him anymore. Thunder and lightning began to condense in his hands. The moment the lavender thunder and lightning appeared, Matthew's eyes almost fell out. Matthew Taibao is not a novice in spiritual practice, so he naturally knows what the purple thunder means. Only when the venerable mind reaches a certain level and is integrated into the superpower can such a situation occur. This student has just advanced to become a master, but he has already reached a phenomenon that only occurs at the venerable level. What kind of monster is this? Seeing Matthew's expression, Zhang Baichuan was also a little confused. Is he so surprised? Teacher, has my power mutated? Matthew shook his head and nodded again, leaving Zhang Baichuan speechless. What on earth are you talking about? The purple color of your supernatural lightning indicates that you have reached a very high level of understanding of supernatural powers. This phenomenon generally only occurs at the venerable level. Matthew Taibao didn't mince words and told him about his situation. Then he immediately became happy when he thought that Zhang Baichuan was his student. If a student like this can rebel against the venerable, he will also be able to be tough in front of those venerable level instructors in the future. Zhang Baichuan thought thoughtfully. No wonder he suddenly had an inexplicable understanding of supernatural powers when he advanced. From this point of view, compared with the venerable level, the difference between him and the venerable level is only the spiritual power value. And the reason why there is such a change is most likely caused by the evolution of the thunderous thunder into the five thunders. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.